Howdy there, nerds. Welcome to the stream. I got more Psychonauts for you. We're kind of getting through this game quicker than I thought we would. This seriously might end up being, like, only four streams. Which, like, remember when I was like, it should be like a Majora's Mask situation. Not really. No. Uh, granted, the, I, the Majora's Mask streams were a bit shorter, if I recall correctly. Um, and after saying, I can't be playing this game for six hours, it's not that long, last time I played it for like six hours. So, that's not helping. <laughs> but, I don't know. That's not a problem. I wasn't trying to spend a lot of time on it or anything. It's just interesting that I remembered it being longer than it is. I mean, I've been playing it for like 30 something hours somehow. Oh wait, that's because of my other playthrough. So then I, I guess it's like, oh man, I can't remember how long it said I, I played it for the first time. I think it was just over 20. <clears throat> Pardon. <sighs> Excuse me. Fuck. I got more a spring cleaning for the playlist here. There's a lot of there's a lot of shit in here. <laughs> like I said, it's like 400 songs. I just fucking throw shit in there all the time. Like it's it's just full of stuff. So uh, yeah. Um, at this point, I've started throwing stuff into the new new <laughs> playlist. <laughs> the new pool of songs that I, I will pull from to make the playlist for this stream. I like to just have shit around, like I just listen to music and, you know, when I like some, I just throw it in there. Um, yeah, I, I don't quite remember uh, how the rest of the game goes. I remember like individual parts, like I was saying before, like I remember each like chapter or level or whatever you want to call it, but um, I... Uh, I think my favorite part of the game is coming up. It's not the immediately next thing. I think the immediately next thing is some like stage play shit. I'm pretty sure that's what happens on the side of the mansion where I was fixing to go um, next. And then uh, at some point closely after that, I think, is my favorite part, which is like this fucking uh, black light poster version of like a Spanish town and there's like luchadors and a fucking giant scary bull you have to fight and it's the coolest shit. I love it so much. <laughs> and that part is soon, but not next. But it might be this stream. I don't know. I'm hopeful. <laughs> I don't want to look it up because I've kind of enjoyed being surprised, but um... I think it is coming up soon, so hooray. <laughs> it's, it's seriously, like, aesthetically and otherwise, one of my favorite parts of any game. It, it really just stands out so much. It's, a, it's certainly a big reason it's in my, my top ten, for sure. <laughs> Man, I need, like, a middle ground between... I'm wearing, like, a camisole, and then I've got this, like, cardigan sweater situation on top of it, and it's, like... The cardigan by itself is not enough, but with the sweater, it's too much. I need like a, like a lighter covering. I know I probably should have thought of this before I started streaming, but I mean, like nobody pays me to do this. This is what you get. <laughs> uh, oh, I forgot this, this, uh, I'm wearing some pajama pants that indeed have a pajama top. I'm usually much, much less inclined to wear pajama tops. I'm thinking I could just wear it like, like the cardigan and it would be better. It's a lot thinner. Let's see. Okay, okay. That's kind of cute actually. <laughs> That's, that's real cute, actually. Yeah. But that's, uh, it's all right. I can roll up the sleeves. Maybe. Okay, let's, let's just fucking go with that for the moment. <laughs> okay. 
Let me get started. I've, I've, I already trimmed out a song so that I could get started earlier, and I think I've wasted all of that time that I could have spent playing music. Fucking around. Uh... <laughs> Y'all, I made a pee break screen and I am so fucking excited to use it. You have no idea. Holy shit. I'm very excited to show Alex in particular, um, who I'm uh, quite confident will enjoy it. Um... It, even if no one else does, I, I, I don't care. <laughs> but, but, I will respect you more as a person if you also enjoy it, because it is objectively great and good and excellent. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to hype that, because I, I'm very, very excited, just unusually stupid excited about it. Especially given what it is. Like, I, I, you don't understand why it's funny that I'm so excited. Um, where's my, I, I muted, I muted the game. And I need to unmute the game. I feel like I need to fuck with the black balance on my background there, but I don't know if I give a, enough of a fuck about that. I think maybe it's fine that the game stands out more. I don't know. Ah, <laughs> uh, I think here? Is that where they need to be? Cool. I was talking to Alex not too long ago. I think he might have started doing something that uh, is keeping him from, from typing. I believe he's still doing house things. And the, yeah, one is in the middle of drywall or painting or any number of household repair shit. You can't really be typing. Uh, what is the difference between continue and load a save game? I don't think there's a meaningful difference really. I guess continue would just be load your last save, probably. Okay, I forgot I named both of my files Lady, because it's just what I named things on the stream. <laughs> yeah, this is this is where I this is where I stopped, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Looks about right. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Right. I gotta go do the creepy tower shit. How many arrowheads do I have? 54? How many do I need to get a different colored ball? I'll wait until I have to talk about something complicated and then I'm gonna go arrowhead hunting. Because I, I kind of forgot that I promised I was going to at least continue talking about drugs. Um, I don't think I'm going to be quite finished, but <laughs> at least continue while I was playing this game. And then it occurred to me, oh shit, we're actually pretty far. Um, <laughs> I should maybe get started. So, <laughs> that is in the plans this evening. I am unfortunately a pretty allergy-addled and horse, but we're going to try our best here. We have tea. We have gumption. <laughs> and we shall do our best. Uh, trying to remember when I last took Sudafed. Not that that's really going to help my throat, but... It's still a... Man. Ah, fuck. I forgot, I just got a shit lot of health. How did that happen, exactly? I, I don't really remember how that occurred. Wait, no, I'm, I'm not in the right place. I'm not in the right place. This is not where I meant to go. This, this was, this was a mistake. I'm trying to go to the lake. And get back to the fucking 
Did I get, did I get candy? Did I get dream fluff? Is that gonna be my inventory? I can't remember to open that. Can I Watch levitate or something? Man. I'm getting man. my ass beat. Fuck. What the hell was I supposed to do with the squirrel? Oh, I have three. Okay. I, I hooked myself up. I think three is the max I can carry, too. I remember not being able to buy more. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's useful. I, I want as many fairies as they'll let me carry. Um, do I even have levitation fucking... Uh, yeah, it's this button. No, no, no. There we go. Oh, I didn't need to be invisible, but all right. <laughs> I, yeah, I think I just came back here to get fairies, basically. <laughs> Which is a perfectly fine reason to do that. Hey, Seagull, what's up? I'm not sure what I was supposed to do to the seagull. I don't know how to get out there, but I'm not trying to fuck with that right now. I just got a call with the... Except the one I needed to. What's up, Linda? Prepare yourself for passage, human child. <laughs> so I've been decorating my office. Or redecorating, I guess. Some of the stuff has been here for a while. Because I took a lot of things. Donated them to the hookah lounge because they were appropriate there, and I figured it would be easier to just put the stuff that I know would work there, there, and get new shit for my office or frame shit that I have had and have been meaning to put up like that, which is most of what I did. That is not the okay. It's hard to, to tell what it means by that R. Oh, wait, I opened the door. <laughs> I forgot that I did that. Um, is that over there? Hold on, let me fuck with my monitor. Oh my goodness, that makes such a fucking difference. Is it too dark for y'all? Hold on. Uh. No, that looks pretty good. And don't I have a... Oh, I don't have a filter on it. I don't know if I want to fuck with this live. Um, <laughs> that's maybe a mistake. I kind of just want to, like, copy-paste the one I had for Majora's Mask. Can I do that? I think I can. <laughs> Let's see how that looks. Uh, comparing with, without. Oh, I think that's just better. Yeah. I kind of think that's just better. You can kind of just see better. Maybe, maybe slightly down on the contrast, a little bit. 
Yeah. Put it down on the put it down the right Yeah, okay. I'm gonna leave that. Okay, sorry, I'm getting distracted. <laughs> I got shit to do. While you were away, your game up was automatic. Okay. Oh man, I, this is a lot. I was having trouble seeing shit in the game last time I played, and I don't think I messed with the monitor mode. Which is definitely my bad. How have seen any suspicious characters or Damn it. lately? Do I have to punch the bird? This is how I came in. Oh. Anyway. I was just saying I like how my fucking office looks. It's really nice. I am pleased with the shit I put on the walls. I thought there was like a side door situation that I had to break this. Oh, I thought I did that before. I think it just regenerates. Thank you, all of you. You're all so kind. You make a girl so happy. Those fucking lashes, man. Wow. Oh. Excuse me, ma'am, but did you see a girl? You must be my new leading man. Aren't you handsome? But, my gracious, you're so young. Look at those lashes. Tell me why my do they keep goodness. casting me with such mere babes? <laughs> I guess that's the curse of having an eternally young face. Ma'am. Fucking love the art style so much. Also, I want her earrings. The dress is a bit much, but I want the earrings. So, did you not see a girl come through here? Handsome. Ooh. Oh, you found my old trophy. I should really put that thing away before somebody hurts themselves on that gleaming metal claw-like part on the top. Say, would you like to hear the story of how I won that award, dear boy? Or are you trying to take it because you don't think I deserve it? No, no, you deserve it. I didn't take anything from you. I didn't ask to be famous. I just wanted you to love me. Hey, what? Oh, You're boy. supposed to be dead. <gasps> the ah! fuck? I forgot exactly how nuts she is. Help Gloria control her mood swings. Um, I think I have to throw a a, a door on her head. I believe that is the solution to my my problem. So that is what we shall do. If you don't like the performance, a simple boo will do. <laughs> oh, seeing her earrings there reminds me of something else I want to put on the walls. Cut! Hey, kid! Can't you see I'm trying to produce a play here? Uh. No. Oh, God. Even a child can see I've lost control of this production. Okay, Becky. Get a grip. Child? Look, kid. It wasn't always like this. We used to have a hit show on our hands. Everybody loved us. But then our big star, Bonita Soleil, got stage fright and locked herself in her dressing room. So now we're stuck flipping between sunshine shenanigans and the horror of Hagatha Home. Uh oh Which is like flipping between a root canal and a sharp stick in the eye. Just ignore Jasper. He's just a critic. Who happens to be right. I'll go talk to Benita. I'm sure all she needs is a little pep talk. That and acting lessons. You can get Benita to take the stage again. And you're the star of my show, kid. I forgot about the fucking critic. <laughs> so, uh... I was thinking, seeing my, uh... I'm fucking... Crying... Baggage. It's so distracting. 
Well, you just you just gonna sleep until there's some for you to fucking complain about. It's so hard for me to talk over the the crying baggage. It makes me very sad. And the 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 like the fucking. Okay, I feel like I I just keep wanting to use the trigger button for levitation, so I'm just gonna bind it to that. <laughs> anyway. So I, I saw my, my Tulsa skyline pictures next to each other, and I want to put like a sun and a moon like above one and below the other, because there's like... They look like a set, because they're like equal widths, and one looks like a day scene and one looks like a night scene, even though they were done by two completely different artists who I don't believe really knew each other other than like in passing. I think they knew of each other. They'd maybe met a couple of times. But anyway, uh, my, yeah, my mom sent me this. She sent me a box of mostly broken, damaged somehow jewelry that belonged to my grandmother. Um, my, my uh, dad's mom, which, like, she lived with her for a little while, so I guess she had some of her stuff. And, yeah, it's just this big, big, not really big, it's kind of big, relatively big, dense box of <laughs> jewelry. <laughs> or jewelry parts, I guess, would be maybe more accurate. Some of it is, like, complete jewelry, but a lot of it is just, like, not shit I would wear in any universe. She was a very Liz Taylor kind of woman. Like, it was a lot of just, like, gaudy shit. Like, I, it's not, like, in a way that is just isn't me. <laughs> like, it's a lot of, like, it's, it's hard to describe. I mean, that's, it, that's kind of, like, the, the Liz Taylor aesthetic is, like, she even wore white diamonds. That was, like, her fucking signature fragrance, which now I just can't smell without thinking about my grandmother, which I, I think is the experience of many people. Um, not that I don't like it, it's fine, it just, it, anyway. Uh, so I was thinking, <laughs> hold on, let me fuck with this right quick. I punch this? Looks like it needs a candle to work. Oh, I remember that. Okay, okay, okay. I was thinking that I could, uh, take these jewelry parts and like make a sun and a moon. Like get me like a, a like some kind of something to glue them to. Or maybe I could just glue them together to make a shape. I don't know. I think I'd just have to fit them together in like Tetris style and see what happens. <laughs> but I think that would be a cool use of all of that shit that I otherwise don't really know what to do with. And it would be cooler than anything that I've seen that I could just, like, buy on the internet. Is that a... Oh, that's a figment. I thought it was a cobweb. I thought there would be more of a selection of, like, sun, moon, set wall pieces in the world, but there's really not. So yeah, Got it. I think that would be cool. It might turn out that that's just not a good idea, and it's not really possible. Or it just doesn't look good. But... I think it would work. Ammo up? Okay. I think I got this bag's tag? If I'm not mistaken. I need the purse tag here. I guess it was blue, maybe. So, I thought that was a candle. That was not a candle. Oh, that's the purse tag. There are, like, a couple people in the world that I would like to, like, commission to make such a thing. 
but I just spent a bunch of money on frames and shit. <laughs> I don't want to do that right now. In fact, I was gonna go hookah shopping, and it was just too cold to do shit that day. But also, I, I hey, should probably just hold off really on doing that if I want a nice anyone. one. Hey, oh, I thought that was- She really doesn't want to see anyone. I thought that was a bag crying, but I think it's a person. I won't open. Okay, I'll leave you alone. So, with regard to talking about drugs, I'm uh, gonna start with the stuff that people are more familiar with. Suitcase tag. That's what that's I need here. Stuff that's easier to explain. Also. No cry. Now if I could only mute the, the teleport gremlin, that would be great. <laughs> so I, I think I want to start with the sedatives or depressants, which uh, a lot of things can be considered that. Uh, the most common and available one being alcohol. I don't remember what I need to do. Oh, I need to be invisible, I think. Uh, alcohol and a bunch of other things that you can call depressants or sedatives. Uh, fuck with this neurotransmitter called GABA, which I talked about last time. And by the way, the... Where did it... Do I not have invisibility up? I don't think I do. No, I don't. Wait, no, no, no. That's the thing I rebound to the... Fuck. Wait. Oh wait, did I fucking... Hey, watch it or I'll call security. Sorry. Hey, watch it or I'll call security. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Excuse me, Miss Soleil. I heard you were feeling bad, so I just wanted to say that whatever you're going through, you're not alone. I used to be a performer myself, and I know how hard it is when... Kid, can't you see I'm trying to have a moment here? <laughs> Sorry. I was looking for Bonita Soleil. You mean the personal muse of Gloria Von Guten? Her inner sunshine? The spirit of her youth, yes. That's me. What do you want, an autograph? I'm kind of busy here. The crying baggage is really distracting. I'll leave you alone now. I know you have a lot of crying to do. Thank you. Now, where was I? Fun. Where is the bag? Or wait, is that her? No. Wait, that is her. The crying just continues as you're speaking to her. Also, was this the inspiration for Dr. Girlfriend or the inverse? I feel like there's no way those happened independently. I, like, fuck, when did Venture Brothers first occur? And when did Dr. Girlfriend actually get introduced into the series? Was she in season one? It's been a long ass time since I've seen that fucking series. I would like to rewatch it in its entirety with Alex. Um, cause he hasn't seen it, I don't think any of it. Which is just a shame. Uh, okay. She. Yeah, so who's, so that crying? who's that crying? Oh, sorry. Hey, can we kill the waterworks for a second? Thanks. It's a recording. It helps oh, me. Oh, Christ. Okay. Jesus shit. <laughs> they need you on stage right away for your big number. Am I not playing this right or something? I'm drowning in a quagmire of self pity. Why aren't you getting that? Should I be doing more with my hands? <laughs> So you're not going out so on stage? So you're not going out on stage? Have you seen any of the plays we put on here? Those god-awful slices of Gloria's terrible life? How am I supposed to bring light to those? Listen, the burden of being the only sunshine in this theater is just too much for one beautiful, glowing, inspirational muse to bear, you know? 
Is there any way I can get you to take the stage for the fans? If you can get me some help out there so I'm not the only light on the set. I'll turn on a spotlight. Uh, that could work. But you'll need a candle. Uh, I think there might be a spare in the storeroom. Okay, if door. you can get a candle into a spotlight and light it, I'll come out and give the show one last try. But I'm okay. not promising anything. I'll leave you alone now. I know you have a lot of crying to do. Thank you. Now, where was I? <laughs> so... Uh... If you recall... Gabba, which... Did I ever actually look up? What the fuck? Hold up. Wait, I opened my laptop for this exact reason. Let me just wake that up. Instead of all tabbing out of the game like that. It's a very long, like, compound fucking biological chemical, bi biochemical ass word. <laughs> Which is why we just call it fucking GABA, because it's obnoxious to <laughs> say all that. And, yeah, it's so prevalent that I straight up do not know. <laughs> well, I, I couldn't even... I think the last one is acid. <laughs> that's, that's all I got. Uh... No! Oh, my God. No. <laughs> I'm bugging Alex. I want to know where he is. <laughs> Sorry, I just kind of get the fucking inter internet to work. Here. When I open the laptop, like when I initially wake it up, it takes a second to realize it has Wi-Fi. Okay. You ready? It, GABA stands for Gamma Amino Butyric Acid. A gamma like the Greek letter... Amino butyric, one word, and then acid. So yeah, that's why we call it fucking GABA. <laughs> anyway, uh, GABA's job largely is to be the main depressant neurotransmitter in your nervous system, in your brain. <laughs> Hi, Alex. <laughs> I was just wondering where you were. I was talking about drugs. I wanted you to be here for it. I, I recall having promised to uh, talk about drugs and just continue to talk about them while I was playing this game. And I realized we were getting relatively close to the end of it. And I didn't want to be trying to cram it all in at the very end there. So I decided to talk, to talk about the presence first. Sedatives. That kind of shit. Let's talk about GABA. And alcohol. Uh, so yeah, b because a lot of different sedatives and depressants work on GABA specifically, uh, you don't want to take more than one thing that's fucking with that neurotransmitter at the same time. Uh, it's a, a good way to think about what drugs you should be <laughs> mixing and not mixing. Also, Arrowid is a good er, resource Excuse me, uh, for experiential drug research, I guess you could call it. It's just where a bunch of different psychonauts go and post about their drug experiences. Uh, you can go find that shit. People combine stuff and post about it. Uh, it but yeah, be fucking careful. <laughs> and uh, GABA in particular is not a great thing to over-enhance because it'll uh, fucking kill you. <laughs> like, you get too much depressant action going on in your brain stem, you know, the shit that's responsible for making you breathe and making your heart beat and all that important shit, that'll kill you. It'll kill you good. So don't mix like fucking benzos and alcohol, for example. <laughs> what I do where? <laughs> 
<laughs> Sorry, I'm getting distracted from the game. Oh, why I wanted to talk about drugs during this stream. Yeah, it's Psychonauts. <laughs> it means different things in different contexts. <laughs> this is glorious, cr cruel training. Excuse me. Hagatha Home for Girls. She went to, like, boarding school. They whipped them in dance class. Jesus. Sing, children! Watch! What is this shit? Wear a costume? Do you have to whip her to wear the fucking flower hat? I think she just likes whipping children. This seems senseless. Rapunzel or something. Good lord. So she went to some god-awful boarding school for the arts where they whipped her constantly. Jesus. <laughs> Got it! Yeah. So, uh, yeah, alcohol is the most commonly available depressant. It's one that a lot of people have ex at least experience with if don't use on a fairly regular basis. Hey! Quit. That is my laptop. <sighs> the crying is so distracting. <laughs> like, fuck. Give me that tag. Give me that fucking tag. Do I not have the trunk tag? Yeah! Thank goodness. So, uh, other sorts of depressants and sedatives, a lot of them are, uh, like, available by prescription only, usually. Like, uh, Xanax is very overprescribed. <laughs> um, hey, got the candle. Um, yeah, I fill a lot of Xanax prescriptions. <laughs> um, when I was diagnosed with an anxiety disorder, that is one of the first things that they tried to prescribe me, but uh, even at my uh, wee age of 20-something, it's my early 20s, I knew that Xanax was A, probably being overprescribed, and B, had way more addictive potential than any anybody seemed to be wanting to admit. And uh, now that I work in pharmacy, I can attest to that. <laughs> I guess not firsthand, but secondhand. Like, I deal with people all day who are bugging me about when they can fucking refill their goddamn Xanax. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it's really not a good first line of defense for anxiety at all. Um, like, it, it's very much a crutch that I, I honestly only think is appropriate for people who experience panic attacks. And even then, as a person who experiences panic attacks, I, I don't really want Xanax for that. I have beta blockers for that. They work fine. I, I don't really see why we need to be prescribing these like very addictive drugs to deal with this very common problem. I don't know. Uh, anyway, that's, that's, that's a rant. Hey! Cool. Damn it. Looks like a dick butt bird. There are other uh, prescription benzo diazepines that are not as addictive, but still are addictive, have a good amount of uh, what they call abuse potential. Uh, abuse potential is part of what determines what schedule a drug is, um, in the United States at least. I imagine it's that way for other countries too. Okay, I gotta go place the candle. Uh, oh, uh, when I did express concern about the abuse potential of Xanax to the person who was prescribing the anxiety meds. Uh, I think they put me on Clonopin instead. Um, which is not supposed to have as much abuse potential, but indeed you still find people who manage to get addicted to it. Um, most famously, uh, 
Jordan Peterson. Uh, I'm not sure quite how he managed that, but I mean, the thing about GABA is that it exists in tandem with another neurotransmitter called glutamate, which is your brain's like generic excitatory neurotransmitter, kind of makes things go faster, wake up, more activity, as opposed to less activity with the GABA. And when you have a bunch of GABA working in one area, there will be a rebound effect of glutamate coming in. So you have a lot of, I mean, it's this way with any drug, you have like rebound effects, withdrawal effects. The withdrawal effects of anything to do with GABA are particularly unpleasant and difficult to deal with. <laughs> it makes you very, well, anxious and antsy and restless and yeah and if it's it's bad enough you might be having seizures um th that's why it's really dangerous for anybody who's really hooked on benzos or heavy drinking or whatever to suddenly quit cold turkey is a bad idea regardless and anybody who advocates for that shit is an idiot I, i'll just say that honestly i seriously never heard a good argument for why you should do that as opposed to tapering off of something unless it's like actively killing you and the act of taking it all is is fucking killing you which is just such a rare circumstance that i just can't can't advocate for that it just it's less likely to stick it's just an extreme dramatic move that does nothing but really demonstrate to the people around you and i guess yourself that you you don't need this anymore and you're starting a change today and the, i mean it's it, drug use is all very dramatic addiction is very dramatic it's all very like there's no fucking low-key way to discuss or depict any of this shit it's it's just in describing it and experiencing it addiction is very dramatic so <laughs> nice sorry i've been ignoring the chat he said uh, i'm kind of curious uh, what is better from a cardiologist perspective on beta blockers or benzos or what um uh, well i mean be uh, beta blockers aren't really there's not really any addictive potential there um they're not really fun um they're you can experience like good feelings taking them under uh, certain circumstances like uh, having like used beta blockers to track door out of a panic attack for example i can tell you that's i wouldn't say it's fun but it's certainly it feels good it's it's a lot of relief it's nice um, but it's not the sort of thing that would generate abuse potential um, just because it's only it's circumstantially really fun whereas like anybody could just take Xanax on any given day regardless of whether or not they're that anxious and probably enjoy it um, you know like drinking um, so yeah it's uh, I, I would definitely say the benzos are more of a problem <laughs> people don't get hooked on beta blockers I don't I don't think that's a thing, really. And it, to refresh anyone's memory of who forgot, beta blockers are, they block beta adrenergic receptors, so they're like, they're blocking adrenaline. So anything that like, raises your heart rate and does all the fight, flight, fawn or freeze shit, that's gonna be associated with that. So it just, it chills you out in that manner instead of by means of GABA. I imagine, I mean, to my knowledge, Xanax doesn't really get prescribed as a, like a, a heart thing. There's lots of other drugs for that, um, depending on what specifically you're trying to manage. And if you're trying to keep heart rate down, there's really nothing better than a beta blocker. Um, it's, it's, a, it's as close as we have to a, a wall, basically. Like, benzos are a suggestion to chill. Beta blockers are a command to chill. You, you literally can't <laughs> get your heart rate up. You can't experience, you know, the physical feelings of panic when you have enough of, of a beta blocker in you. So, you could totally take Xanax and still have a panic attack. You could do it, <laughs> but it would be harder. But I, I'm sure uh, people have managed. <laughs> uh, Xanax wouldn't have any long-term effects on heart function? Oh, I don't know about that. 
I imagine it probably does, but I, I'm not familiar with that research. Uh, frankly, there's enough people being prescribed Xanax in particular that I imagine <laughs> there is probably work on that. Um, if you're wanting to look into that, the drug is called Alprazolam. Um, I want to make absolutely sure I said that right. I'm used to reading these things at work, <laughs> but if asked to summon the name of the drug off the top of my head, I'm not always great at it. Alprazolam. I hope that's what I said. <laughs> but yeah, that's what it's called. It would be a very easy study to get test subjects for, uh, assuming you'd have uh, people who are willing and all of that. <laughs> so, um, let me do the candle thing right quick. Oh wait, I gotta be holding it, hold on. Wait. Where's my candle? Where's my fuck candle? Do I have to light it now? Oh yeah, okay. Oh wait, I have- I can do that! I can make fire! That is something I'm entirely, perfectly capable of. Yeah. I remember the light. <laughs> Look alive, people! Bonita Soleil is about to take the stage! Flower girls, in position one. And action! Tonight, I will be playing the part of Gloria Von Guten, the famous actress! In this nostalgic memory of her breakthrough role in the smash hit musical... Sunshine Shenanigans! <laughs> and where would Gloria be without her muse? Her inner sunshine! The spirit of her youth! Play tonight, once again, by Bonita Soleil! Soleil means oh, sun in I French, do so by the way. I so hope that my mother is proud of me! And doesn't Not Bonita again. mean the Phantom. beautiful and... I've seen some bad plays some in my day, language. but this <laughs> one's an actual menace! And it's all her fault. It's her bad acting that makes the Phantom strike. <laughs> this time, I'm going to file a formal complaint and get this theater shut down. Great. Well, I'm off to go kill myself. You know, you could be a more constructive <laughs> oh, thing. Kid, if you want to see a good play, come talk Sorry. to me. I've got a script here that'll knock oh them God. dead. I promise. Whoa, 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 whoa! Careful! That's the manual mood override. That's how we set the right mood for the play. Mess with that, and we'll have happy plays on sad sets, sad plays on happy sets. Total chaos. Oh no, that sounds like my worse. shit. No, 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 that's my shit. So whatever you do, don't mess with the manual mood override unless you want to see some strange stuff happen. I think that not telling you the whole story. The improv hate! You give her a piece of my mind. Listen, I, I understand hatred for bad improv. Uh, I get it. Like, I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that shit's always fun. Uh, nor do I have a whole lot of experience with it either. Good boy. Is this, is this a dog? It's like a... I'm not confident that's a dog. That is something wearing a dog costume. <laughs> so, I'm sorry, what am I doing? The fuck am I doing? <laughs> Find a way up to the catwalks. Okay, so we're doing we're doing a full blown Phantom of the. O I had no idea what Phantom of the Opera was when I first played this game, other than just like it, absolutely in the abstract. I had some friends who were like musical nerds, and they did like it. Uh, I had like one friend in particular. Um, but they all knew that I didn't fucking. I'd never seen it, so they would not like reference it with me or whatever. Hello, L Lord of the Lard Butts. That's, that's quite a name. I, I'll have to come up with something uh, a bit shorter if you have a preference. Uh, tell me. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> Hi, welcome to the stream. Uh, but now I am familiar with Phantom of the Opera from a, a number of things, so I can maybe understand more what they were going for here. I remembered enjoying it before, but when I didn't really get it, but... Uh, and Alex, you were asking about the... Uh, isolated from the addiction potential, what are the effects, like the long-term cardiac effects of both of those drugs? I mean, the, the, the beta blockers are often prescribed to heart patients, I imagine, because they have good outcomes uh, with regard to that. Um, and I can't imagine that, like, the sedative kind of beta blocker overlap effects that, like, a Xanax or, or some other sedative or anxiolytic, it's like an anti-anxiety drug, anti-anxiety drug might have, might counteract whatever else could be a problem, but I just, I don't know a whole lot about Xanax as a drug, other than, like, basically what it does. Um, I would have to look into it. But like I said, the beta blockers are prescribed to heart patients, I have to imagine, for a good reason. And that they're prescribed in, like, droves. Like, I, I fill tons of beta blocker prescriptions fucking every day at, at work. Um, but yeah, for people with high blood pressure, and there's a number of reasons you might want to keep your heart rate down. Um... Like, I, I'm prescribed that for anxiety, uh, like, specifically. Because I'm very, like, physically anxious. I've, I've kind of been through therapy for anxiety, and, and cognitively, I really don't have a lot of anxiety left in me. At least none that doesn't, like, make sense. <laughs> like, I'm pretty good about that. But due to, largely to not being raised well, I have it, it just kind of a like, issues developmentally dealing with the stress that I can't really get rid of because I just, like, got grown up and shaped into that. <laughs> it, that's why you should be nice to children. Anyway, <laughs> point being, I, I can't really do a lot mentally about the physical anxiety problems that I have. So beta blockers are really useful for me for that. Um, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, let me fucking walk around a little bit. I gotta figure out how to get up there. B bo boyud? Who dat? <laughs> Lard butts, butts, <laughs> you. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's let's go with butts. That's that's a nice one syllable little nickname. Okay. I can't remember. Why is the- oh, can I fucking, uh, clairvoyance the bird? I maybe can. Oh, excuse me. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh. We're counting that as water! Y'all can fuck off. Uh, 
Uh, not yet. I will, I will let you know when I get frustrated enough to maybe want a clue as to what I ought to do next. I have played this game before, um, but it was only once and it was about five years ago now. Um, maybe push at six, <laughs> actually. I don't know. No, it's like, it's like five. It's like five. Uh... What happens if I go through this portal again? Oh, another thing I wanted to mention in like that, that middle ground gray area between psychoactive and non-psychoactive drugs. It's also like a sedative. Huzzah! Forsooth! What is thine sweet smell? <laughs> forsooth! <in the> air? <laughs> Let us spin and be happy, entwined in this pole of love, forever young and twisty! <laughs> Rejoice! For spring has beset in upon ourselves, and the spirit of May is a lingering! Muscle relaxers. <laughs> There's a pretty big gap between the intro to that and saying the thing I was talking about, but muscle relaxers, that's another thing. I was actually recently prescribed a muscle relaxer to help my bum back heal, <laughs> whatever the fuck's wrong with it. Apparently it's nothing too serious. Uh, Doc wanted me to get an x-ray to make sure of that, and I did. So that's good. Um, whatever it is, it's soft tissue and probably will uh, heal up on its own. And indeed it is, uh, but I was seeing my doctor anyway, and uh, she had recommended before, like, maybe we could try some muscle relaxers, since the, the problem that I'm experiencing is like dead in the middle of my fucking back. And I really can't avoid using Ow, too rough. like the exact middle <laughs> of my back, either in my daily life or at work. So, uh, yeah, she thought that might be useful in getting it to heal if I could like take it. Like after days that I've worked in particular, I think it would be useful. Oh wait, is that? Okay, I thought there was like more stage over there that didn't have water on it, but all right. Um, and yeah, the muscle relaxer, you could kind of feel it working. Um, th there's definitely like a, a sedative kind of jello-y feeling to it. Um, but I'm, I think you probably could take what would be considered a recreational dose of a muscle relaxer, but that's not what I'm doing, so. Um, so yeah, that's another kind of weird middle ground for sedatives and whatnot. I don't think I tried clairvoyancing the dogs yet. Okay. What part are you playing? I am playing the part of Gloria Von Guten, once famous star of stage and screen. Okay. Hey, what part are you playing? I am playing the part of Gloria's washed up and embittered mother. <laughs> washed up and embittered, you don't say. Hey, what part are you playing? Well, I have a lot of walk on bit. Oh, and sometimes I do the mailboat guy. It's a small part, but my agent says this is going to be my year. Uh, muscle relaxers get prescribed to people for lots of fucking reasons. Uh, 
helping injuries heal is one. Um, honestly, I think I might try to talk her into just, like, write me a sometimes prescription of this shit, because it does seem to be just, like, good at physically alleviating the tension that I carry. Uh, which, I, I'm physically kind of tense, just, it, again, as a result of, like, the anxiety issues that I can't really fix. Um... It's really just, like, predominantly a physical problem now. Um, which is good. That's, that's a lot of progress, honestly. Like, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the, how far I've gotten there. It just sucks being, like, what is cognitively a pretty chill person, but just still carrying a bunch of, like, physical tension in yourself. There's probably some kind of working out I could do, or more of it, that would maybe alleviate that. I could be doing more yoga. I don't do that shit nearly enough, and when I do do it, I don't do it for long enough. I could maybe get more into that. I'm definitely thinking about it, because, like, my doctor brought up a good point when I was trying to figure out how the hell I got, like, this weird... It's probably a pinched nerve or something. And it's really not that bad. It's just bad enough that I can tell it's, like, an injury. Um, and it is... It's slowly getting be better, like I said, but... Um, I, she brought up, like, you might just, like, be sitting wrong or holding yourself wrong, uh, like, when you're working or something, and, it, it, you know, it's sort of like a maybe posture-related repetitive stress injury, essentially. <laughs> like, sitting so dumb that I hurt myself. Like, that's pretty much... <laughs> Which, like, entirely possible. I'm not always totally aware of how I'm sitting. Uh, I would say my posture is, like, okay, at least some of the time. I do seem more cognizant of it when I'm streaming, maybe because I realize that I have to be a certain distance from the microphone, otherwise you can't fucking hear me. But regardless, I could be better about that. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. I do need a hint. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> just some, just a little, little hint sprinkle. This little... <laughs> I, I do forget I need a little extra help when I'm trying to talk about a fucking topic. So anyway, that's depressants slash sedatives. Um, it's, let me see what I wrote down here. What's some other shit I didn't talk about? So, like, benzodiazepines, shit like Xanax, Clonopin, um, fucking, what's some other ones? It's in, uh, fucking, oh, what's it called? Uh, Valium? Isn't Valium a benzo? I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure Valium's a benzo. What? And I can't remember what the generic name is. Yeah, diazepam. That is definitely a benzo. It was like the, the first benzo. At least the first one to get real popular. Uh, it's largely been usurped by Xanax in terms of uh, popularity. Uh, but uh, some people still prefer it. Uh, it just kind of depends. Uh, generally speaking, with, like, medicine, uh, mental health stuff included, you kind of... Not to be critical of the stage, but it's a little bright here. Oh, okay, I get what you mean. Okay, okay, okay. She did, she did, like, tell me to go not fucking with that. And I just like listened to her like an idiot, but I forgot I'm playing a video game. <laughs> so Gloria you must be in a good mood now. Let's see the sad shit. Ooh, green light. Scary. I misread your hint. Oh. <laughs> well. I mean, I, I misinterpreted it. I didn't read it right. You will begin your long and painful training in the theatrical disciplines. Oh, that wasn't a typo. I want 
<laughs> okay. Nothing more tedious than the tears of an unlovable child. It's time to suffer for your art. Oh my. Okay, so should I should I go back then? <laughs> gonna make me watch the whole motherfucker every time I switch back and forth, is it? I hope not. Okay, good. Uh, so, uh, benzodiazepines are, uh, relatively modern drugs. Uh, they replaced, uh, largely, uh, what are called, uh, barbiturates. So, uh, what's a fucking barbiturate? Uh, Quaaludes. I, I don't recall. Hold on. Uh, what's, yeah, what's that? Methi metho methoquaylone. I don't think that is. We don't have that at the pharmacy. I'm pretty sure that's not something that gets prescribed anymore at all. Yeah, that's Schedule One. That's not. That's not a thing that gets prescribed. The Schedule One stuff is at least according to the government, classified as something that is not medically useful in the slightest. Uh, it is only harmful and it is essentially just a, a universally illegal and banned unless otherwise specified by state law, as in the exception with marijuana. Yeah. Um, so the critic is up there. Do I have to talk to his goofy ass? What up, cunt? Hey, can you help me get up so I can fight that phantom? Ah! Can't get there from here! <laughs> I mean, unless you did that one particular play on that one particular set. Oh, but what have I said? That's almost impossible! Forget about it! The theater is doomed! The fuck? Okay. Why do you have to be so hard on her? Hey, why do you have to be so hard on Benita? I'm trying to save you from that mysterious phantom character. He only attacks when Bonita performs. If we got rid of little Miss Sunshine, we'd all be safer now, wouldn't we? I'm only thinking of the children. Mm-hmm. I was trying to lay things just up trying around. to light the things up around here. Ah! I've seen better shines on a shoe. She should quit now while she can still get a job as a nightlight. If you can't say something nice, don't say anything at all. Yeah, if you hate the show so much, why don't you just fucking you hate leave? The show so much, why don't you just leave? Oh, I can't stop looking at it. It's like the sight of a horrible car accident. A car accident where the victims can't act and the paramedics forget their lines. Mm hmm. If, 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 here, try this one instead. This play has some action in it. Some zing. Wow, thanks. Are you actually being nice? No, I'm just trying to keep myself halfway entertained. Go, <laughs> give that to Becky and see if she can't find some actors to ruin it. Mm-hmm, all right. Hey. You said that if Benita performed, everything would be okay. Okay, so I left out the part about the deadly phantom. I thought you'd chicken out, ma'am. I'm a psychonaut. Just show me how to get up to those catwalks he hides out in. Sorry, no way up there. Well, there was this one play. We would lower this prop hot air balloon down from the catwalks and then pull it back up again. If you find it, or any other play for crying out loud, just bring it to me and I'll run the actors through it. We're so 
desperate for new material around here. Hey, what's this? A new script? Night of Joy. Weird. It smells like popcorn and it doesn't say which set to play it on. Oh well, we'll just lay it on whatever's on stage. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? <sighs> Here, you can be my first AD. Use the megaphone if you want to run the play again. Okay, new script, everybody. Let's practice. And action. Oh, I kind of wanted to see the other play before I did this. Dad, I, never knew. I fucked up, I guess. He was brave in thought and deed. Can't you hear his mighty steed? Wow. <laughs> All right. Is there a way for me to like, wait, now I have a megaphone. A place for every actor and every well, actor. Well, I, I did already place. make the change for the first time and then I noped out of it. I didn't actually go down there and do the portal thing again. So I didn't see the whole thing. Oh, you mean when I go through the portal, I'll, I'll see that. Will I, though? Aren't they gonna do the new script? Must be out of range. Oh, wait. Or you must be in a good mood now. Eh. I probably need to get the loudspeaker thing back out. Megaphone. Uh, yeah. Shit. Okay. Good boy. So You're dead, buddy. Shit. the mail train approaching through yon tunnel. Mail train? Yay! Surely it bears to me a letter from my dear mother who abandoned me at this school for girls so long ago. A dragon? Ah! Ha ha ha! Tis a dragon indeed. You have been fooled and burned. Outstanding. The special effects are stellar. Oh my god. This is a lot. This is a lot. This is a lot. Okay, so can I tell her to like Uh wait, is the Night of Joy the first one or the second one? Uh fuck. I, that's got to be the second one, right? The one had a knight in it. He was brave in thought and deed. Can't you hear his mighty? Wait, is that is that his whole play? Oh wait, okay. My father has nobly. I get it now. I'm just, I'm bummed I didn't see the original one. Oh, fuck. So, like... Can I... Whoa, shit. I'm gonna fucking die. Jesus, shit, dude. Okay, I don't know if that's gonna do anything here, but... Can we see the night of joy again? I feel yeah, like it was supposed to be on the last work. one. Yeah. <laughs> 
the dragon. Okay. Gotcha. So, is this what he wanted to see? I'm gonna fucking die. Excuse me, Mr. Rolls, but do you have any more scripts? Ah, uh, you've tasted excellent, and now you're back <laughs> begging for another bowl of quality theater. Oh my Not goodness. Really. Shut the but fuck I think up. that if I find a play that moves the props around in just the right way, I can use them to get up to the catwalks and fight the phantom. Unfortunately for you, that's the last script I'll waste on this theater. I'm saving the rest. Just <laughs> dig around the sets. I'm sure you'll find some horrible scripts in there. Oh, except uh -huh. do not do that, because they certainly would not help you get to the catwalks, which are very dangerous anyway. So, give up. You're a cunt. Then again, you are a critic, so it's to be expected. Whoa, fucking so! What did he tell me to do? Did he tell me to fuck around in the po the prop closet or something? How did I get back there? Me? I do not recall. How the fuck? That way? No. Look around on the stage. Oh, okay. I will do that. I mean, it's kind of dangerous over there. We're on the set. Did I find your tag? I don't think I did, but... Oh, I did. Cool. I would love some help. Oh my goodness, hooray. Good shit. Uh, so I, I was talking about like the history of anxiolytics, basically, anti-anxiety shit. Um, there's now a, a generation after benzodiazepines that I think are, they're called Z drugs, but I think they're also called like non benzodiazepines, which like, I, I really hate anything that, that like the descriptor of it is non that. It's even worse than anti that, cause it's like at least anti something gives me usually some hint as to what the thing in question is standing for. I think I already found everything I could in here. But I can get help. Can't. Just see what I can and can't break. Okay, I might want to break things later. Uh, Ambient is indeed a Z drug, yeah. It's a uh, Zolpidum, generic, but not a lot of people know it by that name. Um, which maybe that's how it's derived? I don't know where the name Z drug came from, but I, I don't know if all those drugs start with Z. I don't think they do. But yeah, Zolpidum is the generic name for Ambien. And, uh, Z-drugs are, I, I think they're, uh, sedatives will also get called hypnotics. God, dude! But usually hypnotic is, like, like that, using that term, it's associated with sleep aids in particular. Just chilling out up here for a second. It 
if you kill them, they won't come back unless you change sets. Okay. Worth it. Let's do that. Ow, ow, ow. Get my fucking pew pew. drugs off the top of my head. Uh, Ambien is uh, probably the most famous example anyway. But yeah, those are newer. Um, definitely also have addictive potential. Um, and Ambien is really dangerous for other entirely different reasons. They're kind of unique to that drug in, uh, insofar as I know anyway. Like, the sleepwalking problems with Ambien? Have you heard about this shit? Are people just, like... Just taking Ambien and kind of, in a way, blacking out and doing a bunch of wild shit that they don't remember? It's fucking nuts. Kill the dragon and then drop right off again? Oh, that was the fucking script. The day the boat came? That's in the next one, I imagine. Let me go in the portal and give her the play? In that order, I think? to do it in the last one. I don't know. Drag? No way. I don't know. Oh, look! The mailboat sank and everybody died! The end! I guess it was the last one? I'll move back around. I thought this one had water in it. I was mistaken. <laughs> She was supposed to be playing her mom. Then uh, not actually her mom. Just 
fucking Jesus Christ. There, there is a certain amount of fucking 2005 edginess to this game that I can't imagine is gonna be in the sequel. I, I think it'll be just as funny, just not in the same way. Uh, I guess Tim Schafer has addressed some of the things that people found quote unquote problematic in this game in like interviews subsequently in you know the fucking 15 years or however long passed between the release of uh, this game and its sequel or no I guess what uh, over 10 like between between 10 and 12 um Oh wait, the day the boat came would be a happy one, so I gotta change it to, to happy. Her mom left her there at this terrible home for acting? Oh, okay. I mean, that's what happened in the, the thing. I didn't know if it was like... <laughs> sure, I keep thinking what? You got- you gotta be more, like, I don't look at the chat all the time, like, I can't- I don't have the- Like, if you say some shit and I need, like, context to understand it, I'm probably not gonna fucking understand it, cause I- I'm maybe looking at it, like, a couple minutes after you said it. Yeah. <laughs> Loving the sexy drunk saxophone music? There's a lot of that in this game. It's very kinda- I don't know how to describe the music. There's definitely a flavor to it. Um, it's, it's very cartoony, for sure, and, and uh, quirky in a good way. I, I like it. Uh, pardon. Okay, this is the play and this is the set. Beetlejuice vibes, yes. Yes, sir. Actu uh, yeah, for sure. Perfect. Whimsical and zany, yes. Also excellent words. To describe this. Yeah, that one could use a little work. I say, I believe I do see the male foes approaching. Urshak, we're talking about drugs. Specifically sedatives. Depressants, anxiolytics. Well, then these bags and bags of lavender scented fan mail must be for your beautiful Ooh, self. lavender scented Yay! fan mail. Hell yeah. That sounds pretty cool. Uh, I imagine you've been prescribed something for anxiety. I was talking about the shit that I've taken for it. Uh, I got my beta blockers around. For when I need them, and uh, I also talked about having a clonopin prescription at some point. But sorry, but um, yeah, I I did not find myself terribly drawn to the clonopin. Um, maybe I would appreciate it more now. I don't know. I'm not sure, but it was never a big deal for me. I, I mostly used it to help me sleep. You've never been prescribed any anti-anxiety meds? Really? I feel like you would maybe benefit from uh, muscle relaxers in particular. At least, uh, you know, as a, as a sometimes, sometimes snack <laughs> when you need that shit. Uh, I just recently got prescribed those to help my back heal up. And I was initially thinking they weren't doing anything, but I've been taking them for a few days and I, I definitely do feel better. Um, like, I'm not noticing, like, I can move in pretty much any which way, and I'm really not getting that, like, burning feeling that is very much, like, a signature feeling of a pinched nerve. That's mostly how I know that's gotta be what it is. I gotta go see another doctor to find out for sure what it is. Wait, did the, is the boat gone? Do I have to watch the fucking play again? God fucking damn it. Alright. <laughs> fine. Uh, some weird about muscle relaxers is that they all seem to have different mechanisms of, of working. Like, I couldn't tell you one means by which 
all muscle relaxers work, it's not really like that. Yeah, that one can use a little work. Uh, like the one I got prescribed, methocarbamol. Uh, they don't really know how it works. Which kind of weirds me out, to be honest. <laughs> Are you Miss Gloria Von Guten? Yeah. Well, then these bags and bags of lavender scented fan mail must be for your beautiful I'm self. Let's talk over it. Yay! The brand name is not the Carbamol under Reboxin. You Might have heard of that. I can do this. I can do this. Like it says it's prescribed and for do mus this. musculoskeletal pain. I, I wouldn't describe it as like a, a pain med. I mean, oh, come on, come on, fuck you. <laughs> uh, I suppose shit do hurt less when I when I have taken it. Okay, what? Okay, cool, 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 good. What sound effect? I, I can tell you I didn't play any. <laughs> also, you just got here. How'd you know I had those? Gloria, my daughter. Go now, and I shall do something. Oh no, that was uh, Becky, I think. Didn't sound like Becky? I think it was. Yeah, it's like weird to me that we know more about how like some of the psychedelics that I've taken work than we do about like the psychodynamics of how fucking methocarbamol works. Uh, however, it's um, been used since. I just pulled up the article here. It's since the 50s. Um, so, I'm uh, willing to, to take a drug that's kind of been a demonstrated medically effective for decades. That, that's fine. Also, I, I trust my doctor. I don't think she would prescribe me anything that's, like, dangerous. Um... And, uh, yeah, I think, I think it's doing what it ought to do. Even though I, I don't really the, feel it too much, like I said. So, like... What did getting up there accomplish? Exactly? Do I have to go through that portal? I think I might have fucked up. God damn it. I'm about to I'm about to fucking turn this down if I have to play it again. Hey, I, I think this is the one with the Hey Prod, is that hot air balloon still working? Okay. Let's hustle, people. It's showtime. That means you too, kid. You gotta hustle onto that balloon if you wanna get up to the catwalks. And okay. action! Where's the fucking balloon? Sigh! When will my mother ever come take me home from this Oh, I got the third script. I didn't see that I grabbed that. Do not worry, <laughs> for I believe I see them floating here now in a magical balloon. Goodbye, Hag of the Home. Okay, thank you. What? That was the title of the There's script. There's no magic cloud in this set. No max. Well, uh, let's just run around happily and maybe no one will notice. <laughs> Oop, I didn't mean to open my menu here. Okay. I think this is the set maybe I have to play it on. Or wait, was that just what we did? No, no. Is that what I- No, I think I just gave her that. Okay, no. Do I have to do it on the other set? I do have dream fluff. I know, but I just- I- I'm trying to save up my arrowheads. So that I can buy... Maybe a purple ball? I don't know. The orange does, like, work with him, though. Which is probably why they gave him the orange one to begin with. But I don't know. That's just something I don't think I did last time I played it and I want to. <laughs> I'm gonna try this. I don't think I need a hint yet. I'm, I'm still... 
I really don't ask for hints unless I'm just not making any progress. Unless I'm just fucking miserable. But I'm I'm good so far. <laughs> Uh, I don't really want to keep talking about a different class of drugs until we get into a different section of the game. I mean, yeah, I can do the deep arrowhead shit. It's just still time, though. Would be good walking around time. Hey, talking you about have drugs. a magical balloon, moron! Hey, there's no magical balloon on this set, but that okay, won't so stop like, me from jumping down there and She said there was a balloon. Ass. Where's the fucking the balloon? Do I have to go fetch it? I was so close. Fuck off. Fuck. Sing, Wordy. Die. Die. God damn it. Lady with my mighty blast of sigh. What rhymes? Razz bars. Those sound delicious. Uh. What kind of drugs would you give Gloria to help with her mood swings? Well, I was planning on covering mood stabilizers in the next stream because they are kind of complicated. Um. Honestly, they're really not that complicated because we don't really understand how the most commonly used ones work. Um, and we've done so little development into finding new ones because I guess it's just not as profitable as generating like new pain meds or new anti-anxiety meds or something else more addictive. Uh, and yeah, they, they have horrible side effects that make uh, compliance a huge problem. Uh, lithium, yeah, that's actually exactly what I was thinking of. I I've known people who have taken lithium, and uh, it's it sounds like a pretty miserable experience. Uh, compliance, when you're talking about uh, medication, is uh, how well someone sticks to the prescribed regimen that a doctor has given them. So, uh, you know, taking any Everything given drug as, as prescribed. Um... I think I might want a hint, just generally. I gotta know where this hot air balloon is. Let me try talking to Dingus up here. Have you been on lithium before? Yeah, at least I'm good at it. I've actually never known a, a dude who has been on it, uh, personally anyway. I don't know if there's any, like, gendered side effects to it, but I would almost certainly think so, just just based on how much it fucks with you. Ugh, excuse me, fuck. I'm in the right mood? Okay, okay, okay. Uh... this on this set. Did I try it on that set yet? I can't remember if I did. Briefly before they switched to Depakote. Yeah! I didn't look up. Fuck. Nope! Christ. I didn't do the, the play on this one. I thought I did. Yeah, that one could use a little work. Oh, God. Whatever 
is wrong, little girl. Well, my family has left me alone in a bad, bad place for many years, and I don't know if they will ever come back for me. Oh, I don't worry. I'm sure they'll come for you, and you'll never have to think of that bad place again, ever. Is that it? Hey. Hello, my dear beloved daughter. We have come back for you. Please come with us and be happy and never think of this terrible, terrible place again. stabilizers next time so I don't look too closely into that. Uh, where's the fucking yeah here we go. Although the mechanism of action is not fully understood. It's an anticonvulsant blockade of voltage voltage gated sodium channels. What fucking isn't that ampa? No, no, no. Okay. Oh, just like generally sodium channels. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Interesting. There's some GABA enhancement. Okay. Interesting. So I, I guess that much like with lithium, do they just know this works as a mood stabilizer at least a little bit because of uh, trial and error and <laughs> all that shit? I missed a specific set of mood slash script that very heavily implies that her mom's new lover was supposed to mail her mom's letters to her but never does. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate that. I don't want to miss anything. I, I realize I'm trying to juggle here, but <laughs> I don't want to miss anything. I look like I'm floating. You see that? I'm like just slightly above the ground. Interesting. Um, now do I have to watch that in order to... But I think the goal updated, didn't it? Yeah, ride the balloon. I just don't know how to get up there. It looks like there's a ladder, but... Oh, oh, oh! I see, I see, I see. You... Uh, wait, how do I switch direction? Uh, button, there we go. Hey, this drug we gifted up. This epileptic drug we gave. God damn it. The epileptic people we gave this drug to seem pretty chill. Let's see what we can do with that. Yo, a lot of medicine, this is how it developed. Seriously. When, especially when you see a drug that's like, we don't really know how this shit works, but. Like, if there's a drug that we just have no fucking idea how it works, it's because we discovered it worked by accident, probably. And it was developed and otherwise kind of by accident. 
Uh, it's easier to do with shit that's just not as toxic to begin with. But honestly, I don't even know how we arrived at giving people lithium at all. That's- it sounds like some just, like, medieval shit. Honestly. Maybe not medieval, a little more- a little more recent. <laughs> Turn of the last century shit, maybe. It's the phantom. Ooh, did you see him? Is it gonna happen again? I stare at it? Come no closer. Or it will be the last thing you do. I think maybe it's only when I when I pass by it initially. It's good though. I am the Phantom. <laughs> Sounds very evil. Nope! Fuck. Okay. <laughs> How do I handle dark subject matter? I see you down there. I, I mean, pretty well. <laughs> do, I, do I not seem like I can? <laughs> Lithium was a pure fucking accident? Yeah, I believe it. The guy who discovered it was trying to treat people with urea? Okay. And use lithium as a... Binding and stabilizing agent for the urea. Interesting. What, was he giving people urea orally? That's interesting. Uh, urea is actually very good as a skin treatment. That's, yeah, insofar as I know, only really prescribed by dermatologists and topically not something that you take orally. Ooh, shit. The vault you find in this area is, um... I mean, I really like dark shit. Um, if you look through the Ooh. channel archive, I have linked. There's a game called uh, Little Misfortune. It is among my favorite games, and it is you quite dark. Welcome. Really, like, presenting dark things well, to me, is kind of the peak of art. This Honestly. Is my yep. Come no closer, or it will be the last thing you do. Little Misfortune is also cute, yes, but... It's a cuteness is disguising a very, very dark story. <laughs> in a, a really charming way. No! <sighs> What's your step? <laughs> Where is the crying bag? I see it. Yeah. Come on. No. This good. Box needs a hot box oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I thought I had the hat box tag. Apparently, I do not. <laughs> Glorious fallen star. Oh, yeah, isn't that the same voice actor? If it's not, it's a fucking dead ringer for that dude. Yeah. Yeah, if you recognize the voice of, of Raz, it's uh, because it's the yeah same voice actor that did Invader Zim. And a number of other shows? Like, I, I think this, like, who is this voice actor? Uh... Yeah, I don't think I had mentioned that yet. I don't remember his name, though. 
Richard Horvitz? There you go. I have to imagine they got him back for the sequel. Yes, they did. Cool. I'm really looking forward to playing that second game, man. All right, let me focus on Vault here. Gloria was famous. We have gathered this. And I guess uh, Bonita Soleil is supposed to be this like representation of her star power or something. Holy shit, dude. Wow. And they threw a, just a casual ass suicide joke right at the beginning of this chapter. What the hell, you guys? <laughs> Holy shit. This little like cartoon or her falling out the god that's fucked. Oh my god. Oh fuck. Oh my god. Goodness. What the hell? Did this like split her personality? Is that the implication there? And people started heckling her. So she like developed. I mean, sure. I, it checks out. Seems legit. You are not welcome. I might have missed that tag, this but I don't know how I did. My sanctuary. I don't see anything. A crown here. Come no closer, or it will be the last thing you do. <laughs> I am the Phantom. This hat box needs a hat box tag. I know. Oh, fuck it, A. <laughs> And you are not even a little bit jealous of my rise to fame. Yeah, I remember that. That was what Gloria was told by her mother. Oh my god. Yeah, that is, that is mega fucked. And these sensors are getting- I see you down there. Swole, god damn, dude. Come on. Holy shit. Look out. Below. Indeed, it would seem that was untrue. What? What is... Okay, camera, please. I feel like... Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. There's a... There's a ability. Yeah, shield. Let's do that. It's really hard to alternate between the, the shield and not the shield. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it was untrue what Gloria's mother told her. Oh my goodness. Just kidding. I cannot fathom being like meaningfully jealous or envious of a child, let alone your own child. That's just, that's some fucking... Oh god. The, the, this baggage is very heavy. Uh, okay, one more thing I wanted to talk about with sedatives, depressants, yada yada. Um, there's a number of, of drugs that are not specifically in this class of drugs that have sedative effects, either acute or long-term. What did I do here? Chain blast? Oh, cool. Good. So, let me maybe, like, do that. Very nice. 
she sure needed that, so I'm glad I helped her with her emotional baggage. Uh, Alex, were you here earlier when I was talking about, um, my mom having given me a- oh shit. Wrong button. <sighs> Let me kill this first. He's gonna- he's gonna make me use green fluff. Yep, okay, fine. Let me bring this up after I get to the end here. R remind me, I'm trying to do some crafty shit with some broken jewelry. <laughs> Maybe talk about it when I get back from the fucking break. Is Looks this... like it needs a candle. Yeah. I don't have another candle, do I? I didn't bring it with me. Do I have to go fetch it? Y'all gonna make me do that? Oh, there's one right here. How dare you violate the sanctuary of the Phantom. Stop, or your next step will be your last. I mean, maybe. I don't know if I needed to do that, but it sure worked. <laughs> A candle. Um. And fire. Ah, cruel sunlight. Anything but that. No treacherous child. You shall pay for angering. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Now just stay put so I can come punch and unmask you. More like fat? Um, I, first of all, fat with a PH is it, meant to be a positive thing. Circa the 90s, mostly. And also, I don't approve of the fat shaming in this game or otherwise. Also, he's skinny. What the fuck are you talking about? Or unless you were uh, expressing okay, some kind of sexual attraction to towards the Phantom, which is actually very really common, are. as it turns out. All of those friends that I said loved that musical. What? Oh my god! The reveal! I forgot about this shit. I totally oh my god. guessed that. Uh -uh. You said it was Becky. <laughs> I, don't, okay, I don't remember saying anything Phantom. about it. What? Why, I never! How dare you accuse me of being the rugged and romantic scoundrel that has thrilled and terrified audiences for years! Yeah, I guess you're right. He's so agile and limber and... thin. He could <laughs> never be you. God damn it. Why, you? Of course it's me! Well, it's time to hang up the cape, Tubbs, because your days of terrorizing the theater as the Phantom are over. Oh, Maybe as the Phantom? But he's nothing compared to the full, destructive force of an angry critic! <laughs> hmm, how can I say this and still sound cool? Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me? Good, good going, Raz. Oh, you were referring to the reveal. Okay, that makes more sense. It's at least consistent well, with how what about the game is going for. <laughs> And I'll I'll give you more license on that if you're fat too, I suppose, but regardless. <laughs> the boss fight has some cool trivia attached to it. I'm definitely interested, absolutely. I love when like fucking super fans of a of a particular game stumble upon my stream for one reason or, or another. Just like sprinkle that shit. <laughs> like absolutely. <laughs> ah, fucking Christ. Uh, are those letters? Look at the letters! Oh my goodness, that's so cool! The fucking, like, the particle effects on the, the missiles. The letters. Like, from a, like, typewriter. Oh, it's fucking neat. Shit. I don't... Is that doing anything? No, it is not. Okay, um... Awkward! 
vulgar. Tedious. Foul. Tired. Oh my god. I, I, I have to have noticed that before. Okay, I have candles. Crude. Uh, can I? Okay. Oh wait, how do I? Not good enough. God damn it. A terrible fight. Not us. No. What button do I need to press? I can't fucking remember. Right. Oh, that was it. Fuck. Okay. I thought I did that and it didn't do anything. Alright. No! Not good enough! I guess we still gotta dodge. Your moves are derivative and mechanics. No! Left one. Don't love that. God damn it. Your fighting is weak, uninspired. No. Okay, I need to kill the dogs. I need to kill the dogs. I need to kill the dogs for health, if nothing else. Please. Dog. Fuck you! God! Not good enough! No! Please just <laughs> your technique is bland yet irritating. Disgusted they managed to Dude! I'm gonna fucking die! I'm gonna have to redo Your this. Is... Just you have dream fluff, you'll be fine. I'm not blaming you, I just that was why I wanted to be careful. I knew if I ran into even one boss fight that was marginally difficult. <laughs> Get Sorry, I, I I will look at chat in a moment. I know I had asked you for uh, trivia. Oh god damn it. You pay for that one spotlight! Take that wretched regurgitator of the sun! Hunt? It's not good. I, I feel like that's not good. Just it's the dogs. Okay, I'll, I'll be uh, more more proactive about killing them next time. I do think you're right. It's like the fire specifically that seems to be the problem. Can I just relight that? Okay. Shit. Ah, another spotlight. I thought I got them all. 
I'll give you what I gave your brother over there, huh? How do you like that? I'm definitely gonna fucking die, but <laughs> let's, let's try. I'll never not try. One must always try. Oh shit. been more careful okay I can definitely do it this time it's fine <laughs> let me catch up on chat oh fuck all of his quote unquote quote unquote reviews of this boss fight are actually edited reviews of the movie white chicks what wait all of whose reviews of the boss fight who was giving reviews of the boss? <laughs> That's fucking really funny though. Oh my god. When did white chicks come out? I feel like I was in middle school. Or maybe like early high school. I gotta check. I've never seen white chicks, personally. Uh, I, I don't have an opinion on it, one way or the other. Um... I kind of feel like that, okay, it came out like the year before this did, so I guess it was fresh in the cultural consciousness. It's, it's funny. <laughs> I, I, it generally gets uh, brought up as like a very bad movie um, in my experience, so. <laughs> you know how he says things like, the audience would have been horrified if they'd managed to stay awake. Oh, that was an actual review left in the movie White Chicks. Ouch. Damn. Yeah, not even interesting enough to be offensive is a pretty, pretty gnarly dunk. <laughs> probably never seen the movie, just clips of the scenes with Terry Crews. Oh, I probably have seen clips of the, the scenes with Terry Crews, actually. Probably. He's probably a scene stealer in that movie, I, I would imagine. Um, okay, I think I'm, think I'm ready to carry on here. All right, so I gotta kill the dogs sh immediately as soon as I see them, uh, cause the fire is, is really what's doing me in there. It's not only like robbing me of time, but it is also harming me. Like time, time that I could be using to hurt the boss while he's Your vulnerable, specifically. And mechanical. Um, oh, wait, do I have to grab the candles? I thought I had candles. Where are the candles? Were they down there? Yes, shit. A terrible fight. Er. Not wait, up. do I, wait, 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 am I out of dream fluff? I think I am. God damn it. Okay, so I really I have to be very careful. Alright, that's fine. I understand the boss now. They should let me carry more than three. It's bullshit. <laughs> Why didn't I bring my get him? Okay. The sequel does let you carry more than three. Well, good. Man. 
Not good enough. <laughs> Fucking critics. Just I'm gonna read that Teddy Roosevelt quote. I fucking put that shit open in a tab as soon as I realized what I had forgotten about this game with regard to this character. Oh shit. Did the candle like burn through or something? Shit. Oh wait, he destroyed that. Nope. Your moves are derivative. Ah, Your moves are derivative. Fuck here. you. Oh, I get the oh, fucking oh, dogs can't get oh, to me. Oh, <laughs> I I I'll kill him now. But I'll give you that was what good. I gave your brother over there, huh? How do you like that? Ow. Oh, if he does that, it did enough damage to trigger the next cutscene. That's good. Give me that health. Give me that health. I just gotta get one more, one more good set of shots in. He's done. He's done. You done, son. Ah, fuck. I'm just, I'm just going for it. I'm just going for it. All right. Hell yeah. Oh. <laughs> What's the matter? Can't you take a little criticism? <laughs> yeah, first try. <laughs> Beautiful. And there would Gloria be without her youth? Her inner sunshine. The spirit of her youth. Play tonight. Cancel culture. Again. Shut the fuck Bye. up, Rachel. And <laughs> yeah, cancel culture is when you criticize someone, don't you know? The sun. You better she bright. listen to me. You're no good. This place stinks. It's worse than ever before. Oh, I can't believe you call this theater. I, I can't even see it from down here, but I know it's bad. It's just fully backhanded a child. Oh, you've got fat arms, you hear me? Big fat arms like a wrestler. A little tacky gobble hanging from your neck. Ugh. Your knees are ugly. And you snort when you laugh. Is he like shrinking into a piece of popcorn? Handsome. The spotlight is slowly shrinking into a corn cob. I believe I shall happily retire. Because he's not I'm old. Still young. So is this mine now? Recognition for my acting talents. Oh boy. Cool. <laughs> Uh, so, in, in closing, with regard to sedatives slash depressants slash hypnotics, you know, sleep aids. Oh, um, here's here's a, a fun thing about over-the-counter sleep aids that you might not know. Uh, Unisom and Benadryl are the same drug. Uh, it's called diphenhydramine, and it is an antihistamine predominantly, but if you've ever taken Benadryl for allergies, you know that it does make you drowsy, like many antihistamines tend to do. Um, and yeah, most most of the over-counter sleep aids you can get are, uh, they're not gonna knock you out. They're, they're kind of just anxiolytics for the most part, something that makes you drowsy. I think I'm probably gonna take a break here. 
It's a good spot. Game gives you good, like, chunks. Oh, I love that moon. Oh my goodness. This, this might be my, my thumbnail. Too pretty. Hold on. Let me get a good, good look at it. Like, reflected in the water. Oh, you can explain the ending? Yeah. Let's hear it. Jasper was Gloria's inner critic. Oh, okay. Nope, nope, nope. I'm just trying to... I don't think it's going to let me do that. Maybe I could just... Like, do it up front. Oh, wait, I can get to the courtyard from here. Sorry, let me finish reading that. Jasper was Gloria's inner critic. Normally, it's just a little voice in the back no, of her head wait, that don't criticizes listen to him. her own work. Retreat. Shut God up, damn it. I was just trying to trigger another cutscene. Oh, shut up, you little. The battle can't be won. We're gonna lose it. I'm afraid you lost it years ago, Fred. Now pipe down over there. I am the orderly, and I run a quiet, peaceful, insane asylum. Understood? <laughs> See, you've disrupted Mr. Tagley's art therapy session. <laughs> what man. I know what two things are next now, but I don't know what order they're in. Let me go back. Because this is not where I was trying to get. I thought I was going back to where I went uh, before, but I, in hindsight, I maybe just realized that's probably not how that was going to go. Okay, let me finally finish reading your sentence. I'm sorry. Uh, it, yeah, normally it's just a little voice in the back of our head that criticizes our own work. In parentheses, this is bad, you drew that terribly, this isn't funny, etc. But the massive guilt of her mother's suicide caused that voice to grow and become overbearing. I see. Gotcha. Oh, there's, there's a lot of merit to the notion that uh, trauma can kind of split you into two uh, distinct and usually one good, one bad kind of uh, personalities. Is this a elevator? Nope. Doesn't look like it's gonna budge. Oh, hey. GT's that brain? Before. How'd this little doggy get out of the pen? The order is whatever I want them to be in? Oh boy, then I think I gotta go for, for my favorite part. Oh wow. This is very pretty. It, it might be my thumbnail. Love it. <laughs> All right, uh, let, us, let us take a break. Uh, the playlist this evening is, I, I think, the the final spring cleaning, at least before I migrate to a new playlist, um, which I, I've already started throwing shit into, so at this point, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much done uh, picking the remainder stuff I want to play from this old one. Look at the clouds? Yeah, what what are you talking about? Hold on. You didn't even have to do Gloria uh, when I did. Oh, Christ! How did I not notice that? <laughs> I love it even more now. <laughs> Holy shit. Gorgeous. Also, hello, Maytomius? Maytomius? You'll have to tell me how to say that. Hello, welcome to the stream. I'm about to take a break and play a little music, but I'm, I'll be back. <laughs> All right. For real now. Man, I, I love I love everything about how this game looks, and I still think it looks really good. Um, for sure. And I'm really looking forward to the graphical improvements in the sequel. I've watched a little bit of the, the VR game that apparently came out in like 2017 or something. It was like a little hour long thing they did. And uh, it's difficult to watch somebody else play a VR game because it's very like shaky cam. Uh, so I end up kind of not 
actually looking at it a lot of the time. Maybe I could... If there's, like... There's probably a video where they string together all the cutscenes, if there are cutscenes like that. I, I didn't watch enough to gather that. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Let me, let me get your music going here. Okay, so you're telling me that I could either do the, um, the military thing next or the, um, Spanish town blacklight poster neon shit next. I could do either way. I think I, I think I gotta do the, the neon shit. Cause uh, yeah, it's but like one of my favorite parts of any game and I was kind of hyped for it. I was thinking it was going to be next. So I think that's what's up. Okay. Let's orient our shit here. And uh, when I get back, as far as the drugs discussion goes, I'm going to be talking about stimulants. Which is, you know, the opposite of depressants. Oh, also called downers. Like, there's uppers and downers. We talked about the downers. Now we're going to talk about the uppers, basically. Because uh, I, I think they're also fairly... Easy to understand. A lot of them work pretty similarly. Although uh, caffeine actually is a really unusual drug. Like you might think you know how it works. I promise you don't. It's very strange. Good night, Urchak. Thank you for coming by. As always, I do appreciate you. I'll try and do the finale a little bit earlier in the night so you can maybe see it. <laughs> Alright. Here's, here's your music. I will be back in a few minutes. Uh, it's uh, mostly just electronic shit. Pretty much, yeah. Uh, the first track's like a house track. The second one is... Uh, that's an IDM artist, I'll call it IDM. And then the last one? I, I'm not sure what you'd call that, but I like it. Um, yeah, that's what's up. I'll be back. Enjoy! Hello. I've returned. Yeah, I was uh, trying to think of what subgenre of electronic music I would maybe call that last track. Uh, there was a playlist Alex sent me a couple few years ago. Um... It was, uh, is it future bass? Is that what the more accepted term is? You had called it happy trap, and I didn't know if that was just some you and your friends were calling it, or if that was actually some people call it. I think that's a better name than future bass. I think it's more descriptive, because people generally understand what trap sounds like-ish. Vapor twitch? Were they calling it future base though? Vapor Twitch is worse. That's even worse. It used to be called future base. Okay, so I didn't misremember that. Vapor t what that's so fucking nebulous. Why? Future base at least had base in it and like future okay, I could get where you get that. Vapor Twitch. Kill me. No, we're calling that happy trap. I'm... We're gonna make fetch happen. I, can, I I will not suffer a vapor twitch. That's awful. The fuck? <laughs> Absolutely not. Vapor... T God damn it. <sighs> Electronic music people... I would say they can be cringe, but frankly, that's like every every genre really it has its own. Happy Trap Stolfos? Wait, what do you mean? <laughs> I'm like I'm like halfway sure what you mean, but not all the way. 
I'm going to read this, this, uh, Theodore Roosevelt quote about critics. Uh, this is not an endorsement of the dude generally one way or the other. I, I don't remember enough of what I learned about him, nor do I uh, trust that narrative. <laughs> There's probably a lot of shit I don't know. But this quote is good. So this is, oh, I thought you were making a Zelda reference. Okay, no, it's a... I'm gonna link you a video that I want you to watch later. Hold on. Okay, we good? <laughs> Why do I sound like a demon again? Because I have mysterious issues with my audio interface that I do not know how to resolve. That is why. Uh, but I think we're fine, right? We good? Okay. Where did, where did I cut out? Because I was kind of saying some shit. Um... <laughs> oh, I, I remember now. I remember what I was doing when I switched back to this tab. Uh, Mr. Butts, I, I present you this YouTube video. Uh, please watch it at your own convenience. It's kind of long, but it is entertaining. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, sorry, I was also reading a quote. <laughs> Teddy Roosevelt on critics. Hold, hold on, let me fucking move some shit. Yeah, that's... That, that, that works. Ahem. <laughs> it is not the critic who counts. Not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles or where the doer of deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs, who comes short again and again because there's no effort without error and shortcoming. But who does actually strive to do the deeds, who knows great enthusiasms, the great devotions, who spends himself in a worthy cause, who, at, at the best, knows, in the end, the triumph of high achievement, and who, at worst, fails, if he fails, at least fails while daring greatly, so that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who neither know victory nor defeat. It's good, right? <laughs> I, I fully endorse that sentiment. <clears throat> All right. What were we doing? <laughs> oh, I also forgot to mention something. There, there's a lot of drugs that cause sedative effects that are not explicitly in this class of drugs. I think I got cut off in the middle of that thought by something. So, like, SSRIs, for example, that was, um, the first thing I was prescribed for anxiety. I was prescribed uh, Zoloft. And it worked really well as, a, like, a sedative for me, generally speaking. Um, and it was useful for me for a while. Um, I've thought about getting back on it, but ultimately I don't think it's worth the side effects for me. Um, and the best way that a psychiatrist will suggest you combat the side effects of a particular antidepressant that is otherwise working for you is to prescribe you another a drug, usually another antidepressant, to counteract the side effects. Uh, often Welbutrin. So, like, I don't want to go on to psychiatric meds when I'm generally uh, speaking not 
depressed at the moment. Um, and yeah, it, it had, a, it made me like nap a lot and just made me kind of generally, <clears throat> excuse me, sort of sleepy. Um, which at the time was maybe good for me, but I'm uh, not, not interested in that really anymore. Um, and th that's a, another thing. Some antidepressants that are more sedating and some are more uppery. Like Wellbutrin is definitely more of an upper one and it's really just a function of what neurotransmitter they're fucking with. So like uh, SSRI is a serotonin, a selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor and they fuck with serotonin predominantly. Um, whereas Wellbutrin I think fucks with norepinephrine and dopamine and maybe some other things so it's it's more similar to like an Adderall situation I, I think Wellbutrin actually does get prescribed for attention deficits sometimes so anyway uh, just saying that a lot of drugs either have kind of upper or downer effects um, just because I like I said those things kind of exist in tandem in your body just as like a homeostasis kind of thing not just with GABA and glutamate but just generally, there's a push and pull of if something gets excited, it gets rebounded with a depressed state and vice versa. Anyway, let's get back to the fucking game before I get carried on too much here. <laughs> Ahem. Where's the game? There we go. Minimize that. Uh, I think that's where I had the game. Around there. So. Stimulants. Uh, a stimulant is roughly what it sounds like. It's something that stimulates you. It, um... In contrast with a depressant, gets you kind of amped up. You're usually taking them to like help you focus or give you more energy or help you stay awake or any other number of reasons related to that. Um, I guess this is a good time to introduce the concept of arousal. Um, usually when people hear that they think about Sexual arousal in particular, people don't tend to use oh, this word you want a too? Um, I for you too. outside of that you, circumstance buddy. if they're not uh, in like neuroscience or something adjacent <laughs> to it. Um, arousal in neuroscience, uh, yeah. or I guess biology generally refers to how awake you are. I guess you could sort of call it a a uh, an aspect of your state of consciousness. I guess. So the closer you are to asleep, uh, the less aroused you are, and the closer you are to uh, full on having a panic attack no or uh, fighting for your life or running from a lion or at any number of other, you know, life or death sorts of as amped up as you can possibly be kind of situations. That's Look, like maximum army, we're, arousal we're a as far as today we all have to just pull together and kill. Goes. Got him on the run now. Oh, is that a brain? There's two brains. Next fun fact, the voice actors for Fred and Napoleon, the French and American guy that we're hearing, are voiced by the same guy. Oh yeah? Very nice. I'm always impressed with people who can do a bunch of different shit. I have an okay range as a voice actor, but I ultimately think I always kind of sound like myself. But maybe that's just because I know what I sound like, I don't know. I don't think I'm like shitty at it, but. Hey, I'm 
tired too, but you don't see me lying down in the shade now, do you? I should watch my my little voice acting reel over. Remind myself that I'm good at it. I think I I also meant to cut my uh, Thousand Year Door playthrough because that's got some really really good voice acting in it. I had so much fun with that fucking game, but I didn't do that. I just ended up going through the Final Fantasy VI stuff, which also good, but. There's like a choice few. Ten thousand year door. <laughs> Just trying to get that brain. Where'd it go at? You are a stinking disgrace to your family, stick out. Okay, can I can I Yeah! Oh come on! Horse shit! Horse shit! Horse shit! We are indeed awesome. Is that what it's called? Black Velvetopia? Absolutely. And as I was saying before, it's one of my favorite parts of any game. Oh, I had one more thing I wanted to talk about before I kept talking about drugs. You've still got a few more hands in, almost. Uh, Alex, I was uh, saying I, I got a box of like mostly broken or somehow damaged or otherwise jewelry um, that my mom gave me. It belonged to my uh, oh, dad's my mom. Uh, did we lose who, a cannon? Uh, she died when I was in college. Um, and I was saying I want to make, like, a, like a sun and moon wall piece to go with my Tulsa skyline art. I don't think I showed you a picture of them side by side after they were framed. I should do that. But they look like a day and night set of, like, the same place. Even though the, those artists are not, like, they didn't coordinate that. <laughs> or anything. It just kind of worked out that way, and they both decided to give me pictures of the Tulsa skyline when I The one the ravens keep taking away, yeah. Oh, there's another one over there. I still gotta get that one. How Chloe sneezed this one through that helmet will never know. <laughs> I guess I need to get a hot glue gun? That's probably the best way to go about this. I've been meaning to get one of those anyway. Uh, I don't want to hint quite yet. But thank you. I will ask. Anyway, I was uh, mostly telling you that to say if you have any trinkets and bullshit broken or otherwise that you want to contribute to the effort. <laughs> I'm accepting a, oh, you want a court a trash as treasure donations. You too. And you, buddy. Okay, can I maybe torch that rope? I don't think I can torch the rope. Oh, let me try being invisible. Or maybe I could use the feather to like, I don't know, let me try this first. Yeah. I did show you that? Okay. Did I tell you even that I wanted that? I don't remember, I'm sorry. maybe the last thing in here that I need to get. Oh, I need to go get more dream fluff. Fuck me. I cannot do this yet. We're getting more dream fluff. Which means we need to go um, arrowhead hunting, I believe. But that's fine. I have to talk about stimulants anyway. I apologize. I don't. I don't fully remember that conversation. I, I had told a number of people and shown a number of people what I was doing with my office, and I don't remember in particular what I talked to everybody about. I'm proud of it. I like how it looks in here, like a lot. It's really just like a, a few things that I changed. I didn't like totally rearrange shit. Um, it's really just like a change in wall decor, and not even. Uh, totally, it's just, uh, yeah, a little bit. 
it's just, it's a lot better. I also just like cleaned up in here. I think that's maybe most of what it is. That was very important <laughs> to get in the vibe right in here. Anyway, alrighty. Oh, this is, this is a good screen too. I do it like without the spotlight. Maybe that. That might be a better screen. Oh, but I don't get to see the faces quite as well. Here. <laughs> I don't know. I'll pick one. <laughs> Got a lot of options now. So, uh, let's talk about caffeine. It's weird. Uh, it blocks a particular kind of receptor. I think it's... What's up, Linda? Prepare yourself for passage, human child. Which does a lot of shit, if I recall <laughs> correctly. And the thing it does is, like, it literally prevents you from going to sleep. It does some other shit, too, but this is, like, the main thing it does. Adenosine, yeah. So, uh, in doing that, it, it literally prevents you from going to sleep. Um, so, uh, caffeine, yes, it does make you more awake and keep you up, but it it's important to understand that it really does literally keep you up. Um, there's a number of stimulants that I, I can take and still, if I'm tired enough, go to sleep. Uh, caffeine is not like that. If you have enough caffeine, you cannot go to sleep because it's physically pretty much not possible. <laughs> I guess unless you counteract it with other things that could maybe overpower it, but generally, no. Wait, isn't there a, a teleport thing? Around here? Where is it at? The, the fucking ball does not always serve me. Uh. Back here? Caffeine blocks the receptors that make you feel tired. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Roughly. Oh, it's right fucking here. It was right in front of me. Jesus shit. Where would you like me? Yeah, to take it's you not at all a classic stimulant, really. Which is kind of why it's funny that it's so popular. Uh, it's also just a like autonomic stimulant. Like it just generally increases arousal and, and like by the definition that I talked about Brought me outside the main lodge oh ring me back a and bit not that there's not me. overlap by the way between like sexual arousal arousal how it's typically used and that concept of physiological arousal it's just I mean do I need to explain the difference between like being terrified and being horny I don't think I need to do that I think people understand generally what I mean. It's like, yeah, you're amped up uh, when you're, like, sexually aroused, but it's not the same kind of amped up, but there is some overlap in a way. It's just, it, you get it. So, uh, yeah. Uh, there's enough overlap such that you can use uh, physical indicators of um, physiological arousal to indicate someone's level of sexual interest in something that you're showing them or something that they're experiencing with like uh, pupil dilation for example that's like a that's a metric I was gonna use in some research I was working on prior to dropping out <laughs> and it, it's pretty good it's pretty reliable for that uh, certainly much better than like uh, what do you call it the polygraph shit. I can't I remember the name of it now. Fucking, uh... Something... Response... God damn it. <laughs> How have I already forgotten this? I'm gonna- I'm gonna fucking look it up and feel so dumb. Hold up. Polygraph is- it means a lot of 
things. I'm trying to get, like, a particular aspect of it. No, it's not, not parasympathetic. It's fucking, um... <sighs> is it a conductivity thing? It, it's skin conductivity. That's what it is. I just don't remember what the other... What the, the test... Or, or skin conductance, rather. Conductivity or conductance. Yeah, electrodermal activity. Skin conductance. Galvanic skin response! That's the fucking... No wonder I couldn't remember that, it sucks. So, skin conductance, that's <laughs> what I was looking for. You know when they, like, put electrodes on you for a polygraph? You've seen people do that on, on the TV or in the movies? Man, I don't even have enough for one dream fluff. We're, we're going arrowhead hunting, which I re really wish I didn't have to do at night, but I guess that's, that's what's up. That's what we're doing. Anyway, I'm getting distracted here. So, skin conductance is an indication of, uh... A physiological arousal and it's not that it's not a like a one-to-one -one thing it's a reliable indicator of it the problem is our tests for measuring it it's just inherently messy there, there's kind of not an exact way to look at it it's it's just this very messy thing to try and measure it it's best used as a corroborating measure with other metrics which is what, how I was gonna use it and how it is used in a polygraph um, and not that I'm endorsing polygraphs, I, I, they're not admissible in court, usually, for a reason. Um, that's maybe something I should bring up again when Urchak is here, I'm sure he has opinions on it. So, anyway. Uh, stimulants. So, caffeine is a, a weird one but it is the most uh, commonly used drug in the world, I would say. I mean, it has to be, right? What else could possibly beat it? <laughs> it's, it's more universally consumed than alcohol, certainly. Um, and it's also consumed in many different things. It's, you know, in tea and coffee and a little bit in chocolate, too. And not enough to, like, really serve as a stimulant fully, but, you know, it's in there. I mean, pure adrenaline, I suppose, but that's not really a drug. That's like, you're kind of just mainlining, like, you're skipping the drug part. <laughs> At that point, you're just giving the person the biological thing that directly causes the response that a drug is often trying to mimic. <laughs> oh, modafinil, yeah, how does modafinil work? It's been a while since I looked this up. Also, I kind of want to get some of that shit. <laughs> this is a drug that's, like, more legal in other countries than it is here. Uh, here it's, like, a by prescription only sort of thing, and it's not something they're going to prescribe you unless you have, like, narcolepsy or something. <laughs> um, but it's a really good stimulant. Let me look up the fucking psychodynamics here. Oh, they don't know how it works. Well, kinda. Okay, now there's a there's a like a binding profile for it. Okay, so it's a little bit dopamine, a little bit norepinephrine. Interesting. Okay, so it's just acting in a number of ways to generally increase arousal. Which, that's my experience of taking that drug. It's like, if you're tired and you take modafinil, you will feel like you have slept. It's not really a feeling, it's not the same thing as coffee. Like, you know how coffee kind of makes you feel wired, but you kind of still feel like you haven't slept? It's like that picture of the, the skeleton chair. I, I, if you don't know what I'm referencing, I, I don't, I'm not gonna go find it. If you, it, it's fine. <laughs> So, skeleton chair. That's not modafinil. Modafinil just makes you feel like you slept. It's really cool. 
Yeah, EpiPens, okay. Yeah, we, we dish those out at the pharmacy too. If you're gonna call that a drug, I suppose. Well, no, that's just the most classic one, or most effective one, but I was talking about the most popular one. <laughs> If I'd like a secret scene, I can use clairvoyance on Lily's bracelet. I will do that. I will do that at some point. For the moment, I'm going to dousing rod and continue talking about stimulants. Uh, so yeah, modafinil is another sort of stimulant that's kind of strange. Like caffeine. Uh, though it looks like it kind of works uh, like... Uh, it's got some overlap with Wellbutrin, actually. Granted, Wellbutrin is not an like, acutely acting thing. I mean, to an extent, yes, but it's the kind of thing that's supposed to kind of build up in your system and generate physiological changes, anatomical changes, on a cellular level, at least, uh, to produce its overall intended effects. Please remember not to pet or feed the animals at Whispering Rock. The sake yeah. in the food chain has right. caused numerous oh, yeah. psychic mutations, and the animals you encounter, especially at night, might be more dangerous than I'm the kind you have back home. Must not be any deep arrowheads nearby. Let's roam the landscape a little bit. No! Man! I don't really want to pick a fight with no mountain lions or whatever. Oops. Okay, there's something. Nice. Okay, I thought. I guess not. I swear it, like, changed. I guess it changed its mind about changing. <laughs> so, um, I think I mentioned this in the first drug stream. Oh, is that a... I think it's a scavenger hunt thing. <sighs> Can I just... Yeah, let me... Let me fucking... Where would you like <laughs> me to take you, Agent Crawler? Uh... Take me to the kids' cabins area. With so, uh, stimulants often tend to act on the same uh, couple few neurotransmitters, uh, namely norepinephrine, which is, uh, I guess, involved in general body stimulation. It sort of makes you feel more physically alert or awake or energetic. Um, it's related to epinephrine, or adrenaline, depending on where you are. I don't know my thing out. Hmm. I'm not picking up anything. Oh, Must not man. Any deep arrowheads nearby. I didn't, like, pick the fucking landscape clean of, of deep arrowheads, did I? I did, I did hunt for a lot of them. That is a thing I did. I will not do that while I... That's irritating. <laughs> um, dopamine is another thing that gets fucked with by stimulants. Um, often drugs that are being used to treat attention deficits will fuck with dopamine because it's uh, generally involved in motivated behavior. Dopamine. Reward-driven stuff. Which, if you have an attention deficit, you have trouble regulating those behaviors. They respawn? Okay. I just- I just got to this area and they, I guess they haven't respawned yet. So 
So I should go to a different one, probably. Uh, we... Oh, it's not the stump. This area just doesn't have any? Oh, okay. I thought it did. I guess not. Where would you like me to take you, Agent Krella? Um, campfire area? Wasn't I just there? No, no, I, I wasn't the campfire there. area. Mm. Okay, looks yeah, so cute I'll do that. Janitor outfit. I, I take for my attention deficit. That's largely fucking with dopamine, also a little bit norepinephrine. Uh... Yeah, the like needlessly sexy computer voice. Oh, God damn it! It's gonna make me kill that mountain lion just so I can get the arrowheads. Give me health or something. Nothing. Get fucked. <laughs> Actually, what is the fucking binding profile of Adderall? It's been a very long time since I've looked at that. I mean, it's amphetamine. If you didn't know that. Just some type of amphetamine salt m fucked with somehow. Just light a squirrel on fire, you'll be fine. <laughs> uh, okay, I just want the... Here we go. Yeah, I, I guess I pretty much explained it. It's it, fucking with dopamine and norepinephrine. It triggers the release of epinephrine. As well as serotonin and histamine? As well as the synthesis of certain neuropeptides. Oh, CART peptides, okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alright, let's get into some cellular weeds that I don't want to focus on. Anyway. Um, these things are available by prescription only because they have a lot of abuse potential. Like, a whole lot. Um, I, I deal with that on a daily basis. <laughs> and in my job as a pharmacy tech. Um, I would say subclinical or um, just plain undiagnosed <laughs> prescription stimulant addiction uh, is very, very Remember prevalent. Filling up those scavenger hunt forms, we got a couple of big promotions for the winner. I deal with a lot of folks who uh, are filling their, their Adderall prescriptions literally as soon as they can every single month. <laughs> and uh, hounding us and their doctors for new prescriptions. This is something that people will pharmacy shop for. If they're trying to get a hold of it. That, that's essentially when someone takes either a legitimate prescription 
but perhaps sketchy or just a fraudulent prescription to a pharmacy. A bunch of pharmacies trying to get somebody to actually fill this thing. It's usually done with the pain meds. That's really the only circumstances in which I've ever personally seen it. I don't think I've ever um, seen anybody bring like a sketchy Adderall prescription by as such that I saw a pharmacist turn it down. Um, it's harder to, like there's not, there's pain clinics, like that's a thing. Like there's plenty of doctors who basically openly advertise themselves as like, come here, I'll prescribe you pain meds. There's not a similar thing for um, ADHD meds, really. Uh, you could maybe, like, I'm sure certain doctors garner certain reputations, and if you were able to talk to the right people or look at the right resources or whatever, you could maybe find the name of a, a more sympathetic doctor, so to speak, uh, one way or the other. Um, but... Uh, generally, it's just, it's harder to get prescriptions for uh, that kind of thing. And really, it is hard to get prescriptions for a lot of, um, like, opiate uh, pain meds. Uh, usually, it's, it's easy to get a prescription for, like, a few of any given one. Because, <laughs> I mean, generally, unless you're, you're struggling with some kind of horrible chronic pain. There's not a reason to prescribe someone a shit lot of, like, opiate-level painkillers. They're meant to be, like, a temporary thing to get you through a bad time. Um, uh, which is uh, another reason that Adderall and similar drugs are so, uh, why they have so much abuse potential. You're supposed to take them all the time, every day, or whatever. If I were to take my Adderall as prescribed, I would be addicted to it. Just to be perfectly fucking clear, I have no idea why the actual fucking instructions for this drug don't indicate that you need to take breaks. You need to take breaks <laughs> from your fucking ADHD medication if it's a stimulant like that. Um, it's not gonna work as well if you take it every day. Furthermore, you're probably not doing something for which you need it every single day. If you don't need it, don't take it. It's okay for your mind to wander. It's, it's not the end of the world. <laughs> uh, like, people with attention deficits have a certain way about them, and that's just kind of the way it is. And it's not something you necessarily need to fix. That's maybe what I'm trying to say. Uh, sure, I, I've struggled with this shit long enough to know that it can be very debilitating under certain circumstances, but... Yeah, it's a very bad idea to just continuously take stimulants. Like, my my pill bottle says, uh, take by mouth twice a day. I, if I were to take f 15 milligrams of Adderall twice a day, I would be utterly dependent on it just to be normal. Uh, which is not how I want to have a relationship with that drug. Like, I never thought of... <laughs> <laughs> He's doing the fucking- is that- is that Bobby Zilch's dance? Sorry, I was looking for arrowheads. I keep doing that. Um, I- I never previously thought of... Like, the fact that I take my Adderall prescription into my pharmacy... Well after when I could have gotten it filled. I never thought of that as some kind of fucking flex until I worked in pharmacy. Apparently it is. I, I, I've never really had what I would consider to be a problematic relationship with that drug. I, I feel rumbling. That is the Bobby Zilch dance? Okay. Sometimes college nurses are that way. I mean, uh, nurses can't prescribe Adderall. Um, you need a, a DEA license to do that, I believe. And it's something only like medical doctors can do. If you're a like a physician's assistant or something similar, or some kind of uh, nurse that might otherwise be qualified to prescribe drugs, 
Uh, that's not one of them. Uh, I guess if they're willing to, like, forge under a supervising position's shit, which is just extraordinarily risky, um, then I guess, but... I just... I, I don't know. I definitely understand why someone could get addicted to Adderall. Like, that's not mis... <laughs> Ow! Mm. I bit the inside of my lip. I had already bitten it a little bit earlier. <sighs> and it was, like, swollen, so I was more likely to bite it again, and then I did. Oh, no. If that turns into a canker sore, I'm gonna cry. Ah, uh, Ow. That's like the only circumstance in which I ever get canker sores, is I bite the inside of my goddamn mouth and it turns into one. I otherwise never fucking get them. Mm. And also, the, like, the inside of my lower lip in particular, this always seems to be where I bite myself. And it was just a function of how my face is shaped or what, but fuck, ow. Yo, this sucks. I think I might have a canker sore patch in my bathroom and I kind of want to check. And also I have a really, really dumb uh, short-term BRB screen that I want to use. And I'm going to use this as an opportunity to throw that up. You'll have to let me know if you hear the music and everything's all copacetic here. Because <laughs> I won't know until I check later. Um, can I pull it up from here?
could y'all hear me talking over Mallow there? Uh, this is gonna, this is gonna really fuck with my ability to talk until it actually melts. Sorry about that. Yeah, I, I fucked up putting on the first patch such that I made the problem, um, worse, <laughs> such that I, I needed to, uh, use a second one. Now I'm gonna be talking, or maybe if I hold my head differently. It might be a little better. Ugh. Great. Okay. Hopefully, if I just allow that to heal, I can prevent getting a canker sore. I had a canker sore once that like ruined my whole spring break once. I've not forgotten it. I, oh my goodness. This is an awful spot. Ugh. Terrible. I think I almost have enough if I don't already. But I need I need enough for dream fluff. Ideally, and a different color ball. Y'all have to tell me if you heard me talking over Mallow, because I couldn't see any volume thing for my mic. As far as it looked in OBS, there wasn't a mic thing. Which, like, I generated that scene, like, from scratch, so I, I don't know if... I don't... I didn't think I usually had to add, like, manually. my fucking microphone, but maybe I'm mistaken. I thought it was 200. He could be right, though. I don't remember. Hey. If it's 400, I'll get it later. I just kind of wanted it for this part. I should go get my challenge marker thing, too. Anyway, th this thing I put in my mouth is like a canker sore patch. And I wholeheartedly recommend them if uh, you have a canker sore and it's really bothering you. What it does... <sighs> Excuse me. It's like this little weird... M menthol jelly patch and you uh, put it uh, you stick it on to the canker sore um, you do it like at, at, while it's completely dry um, and this thing adheres to it and it doesn't adhere to it if it's not completely dry so it's very important that you get it completely dry and uh, keep it that way while you're putting it on and holding it on. And that can be kind of tricky, especially if you haven't used one in a while. And I haven't. And then what happens is that after it's uh, adhered to the canker sore, um, it, uh, like, melts. It's like a hard tablet at first, and then it uh, melts into a, like, kind of semi-hard jelly situation. <sighs> Fuck. 
get off of the- God, that's irritating. The patch melts into a jelly thing that, that stays in place in your mouth uh, through eating, drinking, and otherwise uh, for several hours. It numbs it too, so you don't really feel it there. Right, rather, you definitely feel it there. It's really obnoxious and it's affecting my ability to speak. Excuse me, it's affecting my ability to speak, but. As it melts, it's not as cumbersome. <sighs> it's hard for me to concentrate on talking about anything complex while I have this in my mouth, so you'll have to forgive me. It's stalling. I mean, I kind of said a lot of what I wanted to say about stimulants anyway, so that's good. <laughs> Although I, I had hoped to also. Uh, Perhaps talk about one other thing. Oh, that's just an arrowhead thing. This has been enlightening. Oh, you gotta go. That's why you wrote me a paragraph. I I'm gonna read it. Uh, you need to be up in less than four hours. Oh my goodness. Yeah, please. Please go to sleep. <laughs> Have fun running against El Odio. Thank you. Otherwise known as the Fury. Is that what El Odio means? I thought Odio meant ugly. A few parting gifts. One, I was not kidding about using pyro on the squirrels. It will turn them into food, no shit. Check out Edgar's jacket when you go into Velvetopia. Was Edgar the security guard? Did I get his jacket? I don't remember that. And three, the mini bosses have color coded nipples. What? Oh my god. Oh, Edgar's the painter, okay. I can't remember what the security guard is named. All right, I will check out his jacket. I appreciate the tips and then the trivia and the everything. I hope you'll be back for the finale next time, whenever that is. Boy, thank you. Do I almost have enough for another one? Is that a card down there or is that just water? That is just water. Oh, there's a card in there. Mm. Mm. Hell yeah! I'm about to gain levels, boy. Levels. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. How do I get up there? Hell yeah! Just a whole one out of nowhere. No! If I hopped up there once, I could do it again. <laughs> I think that's a dead end. No. Okay, the patch is starting to melt. Good. I forgot I was supposed to be looking for arrowheads. <laughs> I mean, that's fine. It's an okay thing to get distracted by. God damn it. Please.
Damn, dumb luck. Alright, cool. Good deal. understand why someone could get addicted to Adderall. Um, sure. It's just, I don't know, maybe part of the reason I don't abuse it is because it's really, really useful for me when I don't. And it does use, uh, lose that utility if I develop too much of a, excuse me, if I develop too much of a tolerance to it. It's hard for me to fucking be articulate right now. <clears throat> uh, it's uh, led to the development of ADHD meds that have a lower abuse potential, but um, those those drugs are just as often um, something that gets us hounded after at the pharmacy <laughs> and uh, it generally indicates that people are maybe uh, at least a little dependent on it in like a bad way it's it's okay to be like, like when I say dependent I mean like I don't necessarily mean addicted necessarily. I mean, you do kind of use those interchangeably, but I mean, like, I am to some extent dependent on Adderall uh, to uh, function at least at my maximum capabilities and my, my maximum level of functioning. Um, that doesn't mean that I'm necessarily addicted to it. I, I would not say that I am. Um, but it's something I do uh, depend on to be productive and focused a lot of the time. If I gotta do something important. Uh, however, no, please, ah, oh, fuck. I can't even remember what I was fucking saying. Derailed my train of thought thoroughly. Uh, anyway, so a lot of people are dependent on certain drugs, but not addicted to certain drugs. But when I say dependency in this context, I'm generally talking about like a, a physical dependence. Um, it, you can have like psychological dependence on some drugs too, um, uh, for sure. And, and really any physical dependence is also wrapped up in a psychological one. Patch is at a crucial melting stage right now. Excuse me. This is something, if I, I would use these uh, for streaming uh, if I ever did have something I needed to heal up or something I didn't want to be aggravating by talking. 
but I let them melt before I start so that I don't deal with this so much. Anyway. Ahem. Uh, however, the, the drugs that uh, folks have developed uh, to kind of be less potentially addictive, like uh, the stuff that works for longer, for example, like, you'd think if I were, uh, you know, so concerned about a stimulant addiction, I would be on something longer acting, but uh, I also have a problem with my appetite, at least since uh, I had that ulcer forever ago and problems with my stomach. Um, so, it's really not a great idea for me to take something at the beginning of my day that suppresses my appetite for, like, eight hours or some shit. I, I prefer the shorter acting stuff. I, I like to put my chunks of productive time into, you know, roughly four hour blocks. That works for me. Watch it. Ooh, I need to save. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, I would have had a save, uh, like an auto save, but regardless. <sighs> Give me health. Mm. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> so like, uh, isn't what's what's the one that they made that has to like pass pass through your liver once before it works? Is that Vyvanse? Or is that just the longer acting Adderall? I can't remember now. I knew this at the time. That's Vyvanse? Okay. Yeah, I, I, I can tell you right now, uh, I get just as many folks hounding me about their goddamn Vyvanse <laughs> as I do any other prescription ADHD med. I would say Adderall is probably the worst, uh, just because it does have the most both abuse and uh, recreational potential of any of them. Uh, also a very high, uh, street value. <sighs> it's a, a popular study drug. I'm sure everybody's heard about it being used for that. Okay, at this point, I have enough arrowheads to do whatever the fuck I could possibly want to do. Um, it would seem there's another spot nearby, so I'm gonna get that one, but then I'm going back. Nice. Alright. One, one mo. Oh wait, no, that's not where I want to go. I didn't realize the mountain lions and shit were so easy to kill. TBH. Where is the... the stump? The log. Uh, so they, they made that shit, Vyvanse, uh, the longer-acting Adderall that uh, has to pass through your liver before it turns into something active. So it has to be metabolized before it, it'll do something resembling a stimulant effect in your, your bloodstream. Uh, they did that to prevent people from fucking crushing it up and snorting it. Which apparently people do with Adderall. That is never something I've done, uh, nor would I do that. Um. Yeah. I, I really only ever put anything up my nose because I 
absolutely had to. Like, there were no other options. <laughs> it was- it was that or nothing. Uh, it is- is not- not my favorite way to, to take in a drug, certainly. Oh, God! It's- it's also just not great for you. If you make a habit of putting anything in your nose, you're, you're gonna cause physical damage to yourself pretty quickly. Um... Same with injecting shit. Not that I would- like, I- I have never injected a drug into myself, period. Uh, nor have I had one injected into me by anything but a medical professional who was doing it for medical reasons. Hey, anything new in the store? Take a look. Um... Now with that, you can change the color But of I would your, not do that. Now with that, you can change the color oh, of some it's of your side powers. Now, it, now with that, okay. you can change Take the color it. sold to the big-headed kid with the gloves. Cool. What else okay. can I do you for? Ah, now here's something oh, the mental magnet. Needs. What is this for? What does the mental magnet do? The, the now, heartbeat is driving mm, me crazy. Dream fluffs. Delicious it. sold to the big-headed kid with the gloves. What else can I do you for? I'll take it. Excellent choice. What else can I do you for? Mm. I'll take it. Excellent choice. What else can I do you for? What else can I do you for? Now, uh, take that side I have there, a bunch of those together. already. Now, here's something That's every it for now. Side. All right. All right. Go get more airheads and come on. When HP and ammo drops run away, it attracts them? Oh my god. I have okay. I gotta. I gotta fucking sniff around a little more, and and get up to 400 and get that. That sounds amazing. I hate that shit. I had no idea that's what that did. I was complaining about that like for the entirety of the last game, not knowing. Man, can I get some health? Can a bitch get some health? Fuck. So I'm trying to I'm trying to remember all the other uh, different uh, stimulants that get prescribed to folks. There's a what's it called? Concerta? What's the what's the long acting Ritalin? That's like the same the same like the analogous to Vyvanse, basically. I don't know if it's the same thing in terms of making it to where people can't snort it, <laughs> but uh, also the fact that it lasts longer is another um, anti-abuse mechanism for the drug. Uh, drugs that are shorter acting tend to be more addictive. Oh, shit. It's just a, a function of how addiction and behavior generally work. Uh, things that work quicker, that are stronger when they do hit you, and that last less long. Those three things are what make for a more addictive drug, just in the abstract. And then if you're fucking around with dopamine in particular, that also makes something more addictive, just because it's like directly plugging into your reward system and the motivation you have for stuff that keeps you alive or otherwise is really important to your life. That's Concerta, okay. Uh, Ritalin is another um, stimulant that gets prescribed to treat attention deficits. It's a meth methylphenidate, I think, right? Um, and then Concerta, that was the second thing you got prescribed as a kid. Man, how long have you been taking this shit? See, I didn't get diagnosed with an attention deficit until like my mid-twenties, so I hadn't taken any drugs for this shit or been treated for it at all. Really, by then it was it was almost uh, too late for a lot of things that maybe would have worked for me earlier um, in terms of like behavioral shit. I don't know if I could have fully behaviored myself out of needing stimulant drugs to treat this. Um, if only because, like, I, I have a strong family history of this problem, and I, it, 
I don't think it's likely that I could have trained myself out of it as a kid, but I don't know. I mean, it's really not an issue, honestly. Like, I, I don't struggle with using Adderall. Uh, the biggest downside of the Adderall is that it fucks with my appetite, but in a way it also kind of encourages me to eat better because I never take it on an empty stomach. So, you know, if I'm... If I do take it, like, twice in a day, which, yeah, I've done that before for work and shit, or working on something, um, that means I'm at least gonna have two uh, pretty sizable meals that day, uh, decently spaced apart, which is really better than I do a lot of days. <laughs> like, two big meals? No! Where I didn't mean to like do that. Me to take you, Agent Crowley? Uh, whatever, let's, let's do my Ford's, shit. I mean, my sanctuary. Yes, noble psycho master. You were 13. Yeah, I remember you telling me you were, like, very young. Although, I've filled fucking Adderall and otherwise prescriptions for, like, children, children, children. Not even teenagers. Like, babies. Which, like, that's crazy to me. I, I honestly, I don't know if children children should be taking that shit but i don't know i mean it seems to have worked well for you I, so I, I i don't know i mean what do you think like do you are you do you think it was a good idea that you got prescribed that shit so young was it helpful i have to imagine it was helpful you've stayed on it so uh Atomoxetine? What is that? I definitely fill prescriptions for that. I can't I can't deal with the, the heartbeat. It's very stressful. It's it's not quite as bad as a the Zelda beeping, but it's still uh not good <laughs> for me. Burn some squirrel? Is that gonna help me get health back? Then I will. Friend, I don't know if you spelled that right. I I should know. Atomoxetine. Okay, you just as far you spelled it phonetically right, but technically wrong, and that's why I couldn't find it. Like, that's how it sounds. <laughs> like, fully, that's how it sounds. Atomoxetine. You can't tell the difference between what you typed and what it actually is in terms of saying it. Stratera! Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Um, and it, Stratera is not similar to uh, methylphenidate or Adderall so much, right? Um, I remember a doctor wanted to prescribe me, it's, it's not explicitly like a stimulant that works like either of those. And indeed, I do not get hounded for Stratera at the pharmacy. People are not uh, up my ass to fill their fucking Stratera prescription. So I guess they, they did find something that has lower abuse potential. Um, yeah, I, the first doctor that diagnosed me with an attention deficit, or, or, I can't remember if he was the guy that diagnosed me or just the guy that actually treated me for it. I think the person that diagnosed me was not actually qualified to prescribe me drugs for it, so they referred me, excuse me, this fucking patch. So they referred me to a psychiatrist in the same, um, clinic that could do that. And he was, I, I could tell, still very young. I, I don't think he was too much older than me, honestly. He, he would have been a little bit, I think, just by virtue of the fact that by the time you're working at like a clinic like this, you've been through med school, through psychiatry shit, through residency or whatever. I don't know. He, But still, at that point, I was like in my mid, like I think it was like 26 or something. I can't remember. Um... Anyway, so he was, for whatever goddamn reason, real 
uh, cagey about prescribing stimulants for attention deficits, at least as a first line of defense, which, you know, I could maybe, maybe understand. However, instead of prescribing me even one stimulant, he instead prescribed me Stratera and, was it, Guanfacine at the same time? Rather than either one or the other to see how they would work or one stimulant to see how it would work. And, um, yeah. I didn't end up doing that because the Stratera was not covered by my insurance. Or did I even have insurance at the time? I can't remember what I was doing at the time for a health coverage. I think I might have been, like, tangentially on my in-laws plan or something. I was living with them at the time, so. Um, anyway, so I, I immediately was irritated with that, not because I was like eager to get prescribed a stimulant, but that this doctor would prescribe two things at the same time <laughs> that have a, a bunch of side effects that overlap even. <laughs> such that I wouldn't know what was causing what it's a failure to isolate your variables basically which is like uh, frankly one of the most basic and embarrassing mistakes a science-minded person can fucking make and <laughs> uh, fortunately perhaps uh, the uh, my insurance or whatever I was doing wouldn't cover this Stratera and it's otherwise an extremely expensive drug, at least it was at the time. So, uh, at that point I was prescribed Adderall, I believe. <laughs> uh, anyway, let me do the, the challenge marker shit and then I'll go burn some squirrel. Oh, and change my ball color, I guess. So, d uh, did y'all hear me talking over Mallow? Yep. I can't remember if anybody ever a answered me there. Also, uh, hi, Trig. How, how the fuck do you say your name, ma'am? I don't think I actually greeted you. I just agreed that burning the squirrels would be a good idea. I have a, uh, what I'm trying to prevent from becoming a canker sore in my mouth. And I put like a patch on it like currently melting into a jelly that's covering it and protecting it. Train you. Is that right? Okay. Like, like you would like train a dog or like where's, where's a uh, crawler? Where the fuck's he at? I thought he was up here. Did he move? Oh, he's in the lab now. That's right. And oh yeah, I gotta get my, my brain bonuses. I, I got a shit lot of brains. Where's the fucking hallway? No. Where's the fucking hallway? There. Fuck. The first time you tried, you got Traig, and then just missed the new. Traig new? Okay. I didn't know how to say the, the, the second one. So it's not new. Traig new. Alright. I, I got it. Thank you. Yes! I got a brain! Good. Now? So, as you can imagine, we are in some bad trouble. Sounds like it's time something bad happened to our fine coach. Well, let me tell you what our plan is. Please, you have Traitorous ass, Oleander. But, say no more. The end. Okay, here's the plan. I'm gonna go get on the coach's radio and call for help. See, now that's an excellent idea. Why can't everyone be so helpful? 
Yeah, I modified the antenna so now it broadcasts straight into outer space. <laughs> so, any questions? Is Elton okay? Well, he'll be fully brained soon. I promise. When he comes out, tell him I'm waiting for him down by the docks, okay? Hey, do you want to help us save the... Typical. And that's why we need your help more than anybody's. Well, shut my mouth. I better go patrol the living quarters, guard the women folk and all. Say, is my hombre walking around yet? Not yet, but soon. I just hope he forgives me for acting like such a dang fool. <laughs> and that's why finding your brain in particular was my highest priority. You know, I'll bet if JT wasn't so distracted, this wouldn't have happened. He's probably with that prissy little show pony right now. No, actually I think her mind's on other things at the moment. <laughs> hmm. Well, maybe I'll go see what's up. One of us at least should be guarding the sleeping quarters. Agent Crawler? What is the current situation? Okay. I'd better go. Lots of work to do. Oh, wait. Up, Rasputin. How do I change my ball? Where do I need to talk to him at to change my ball color? Agent Crawler? What is the current situation? Oh, bacon. I'd okay, better go. gotcha. Lots of work to do. Good I'm luck, Rasputin. Call him remotely. Gotcha. Well, it's an item I had to buy, but I don't think it's like an item in my inventory. Excuse me. Look. Yep. Patch is almost melted, but it's still just gonna obstruct my speaking. Just so. Can I call him while I'm here? I should probably leave first. I don't know. <laughs> Where would you like me to take you, Agent Crawler? Uh. Go it's back time to, to go lake, to the lake. Yes, sir, Admiral, sir. Yeah, I've got all the... I think I did everything I needed to, right? Yeah, I did the challenge marker thing. Got a little health, did the brain thing. Okay, let's, let's call him with the bacon. Mmm, <laughs> bacon. Can I yeah. change the color of my levitation ball? Like, say, to what? I don't remember doing this before. Oh man, there's so many colors. Holy shit. Ah. Uh, guys. Anybody want to make an argument for any color in particular? Blue. He's not wearing any blue. Which kind of, like, I think would present a good contrast. He already has an orange ball. I guess I could give him an oranger ball. Like a red orange ball or like a, a golden orange ball. Well, I don't want to match his skin, really. He's kind of, yeah, he's, he's kind of orangey. And he has, he has an orange, um, he has orange goggles, too. Uh, I thought about green. I, I'm sort of leaning towards blue, though. Or maybe purple. I think purple is what I initially said I wanted. And I'm going into the black velvetopia world. So I maybe want something kind of kind of neon one way or the other. What about this, like, indigo color? Let me see how okay. it looks. Hope that makes you feel pretty. I mean, you can always change it to something else, right? Nothing more to report at this time. Crawl her out. Let's see. Let's see how the... Ooh. Okay, so it keeps the green ring regardless. I kind of like that. I don't know. Let's, let's try a different one. Try one more. <laughs> There's that smell again. Can I change the color of my levitation ball? Like, say, to what? As for the squirrel thing, it leaves behind a rose squirrel. Oh, is that an item I can just carry that restores health? I'll fill up on those. I will fill up on those before I go back. Uh... 
Yeah, green and orange is, is kind of his color scheme. That's why I was wanting to go outside of it. Um, let me try this like okay. bright Hope sky blue. See what that looks like. Nothing more to report at this time. Crawl her out. Ooh, that looks like a planet. I think I think I might like that one because the ball already has green, so I don't want to do green on green. He can't take one with him. Oh, okay. Never mind then. I think I think I'm leaning towards that. I'll change it when I get there if I feel like it should be a different color. But for the moment, do that. I think it's very pretty. Yeah, it looks like a like a planet, a cool planet I'd want to go to. What's up, Linda? Prepare yourself for passage, human child. Oh, I'm trying to think of a uh, like a, I was talking about stimulants. What other than caffeine is a really common stimulant? I'm like actually struggling to think of anything. Um, people take V12 as, as a stimulant. I think you take a bunch of B12, it'll give you energy in like an acute kind of way. I, I still wouldn't describe it as a drug, but you are trying to get a drug-like effect from that as a supplement. In the US, it's mostly caffeine. Uh, do they have shit in other countries? Well, modafinil is more uh, widely available in other countries. It's like a... Isn't it just straight up over-the-counter in a lot of other countries? I don't know why we're so weird about it. Oh, nicotine! What the fuck is wrong with me? Like, literally, like, vaping. Guys, I can't think of any other stimulants. <laughs> Nicotine. Uh, nicotine's kind of a weird one. I think I was gonna, like, briefly cover that the next time I talked about drugs. Because uh, it requires me to talk about acetylcholine, which is its own Look, thing. we're not just an army. We're, we're a family. And today we all have to just pull together and kill. Beyond um, you, Jennifer. I can't remember what I said about acetylcholine when I talked about drugs the first time. I might go back and listen to what the fuck I said. <laughs> But, uh, it's, it's a neurotransmitter that is largely only found at, uh, like, the muscle level. Um, that's most of what it's doing, and where you're gonna find it is at, like, Retreat. neuromuscular uh, move, junctions. Mike. Like, the point at which your nervous system tells your muscle what to do. And, uh, the uh, receptors that receive acetylcholine are nicotinic receptors. That's what they're called. Um, I think there's two types, like two main types. Um, one that's like a ion channel thing, and another one that's like a second messenger thing, which I don't. I don't want to run now. I don't want to explain the difference between those, but there are different ways in which a an action potential can be triggered, basically. Um, what y'all saying in chat here? B12 does cause exhaustion, or B12 deficiency rather, <laughs> of course, because yeah, uh, you get B12 from animal products. Uh, you can get it from other things too, I think, and you can also just supplement it. And you're certainly not going to get like an energy boost akin to a drug-like effect from eating a bunch of steak or something. That's the, no. I'm talking about like concentrated a lot of B12 specifically. <sighs> Excuse me. <clears throat> My trusted spy. Tell me I what you get know. up there. I like the blue. The blue is good. The just blue looks good with the orange. See you doesn't mean like it, I'm not it, watching. It's complementary to the orange and and Oh, no. I didn't mean to skip that. I can't, no. 
Oh my gosh, where's my autosave? Isn't that like here? I skipped the cutscene with Edgar that introduced his whole story by accident because I pressed the wrong button as I was going into the room. I mean, I have to. Okay, yeah. Okay, good. It auto-saved when I came in here. Cool. Good. No problem. Kill for daddy. <laughs> the fuck? Let's, let's save here, just in case anything else, else goes awry. Sound like fucking Grimes. Like, that. that's the particular... Fucking weird lisp situation. I'm dealing with. I, I don't quite sound like her, but. I have trouble articulating that particular sort of, I guess you could call it, I, I don't know if you'd call it a speech impediment, but it's certainly a very prominent speech you quirk that she has when she speaks and uh, when she sings, I suppose. This, I skipped this. What you painting there? That is my patron, my psychiatrist, my warden. Looks like Dr. Lombardo to me. Is he the one who chained you up? The doctor won't let me go until I complete my treatment. So why don't you just finish the painting and go home? Why don't I just... See? Sometimes you just have to... Huh. You painted a bullfight over the doctor's <laughs> face. That's right. Why a bullfight? Huh? Huh? Edgar, why do you... Every time! Every time it is the same! The matador! The bull! How I despise you both! But my hands won't let you go. Ah! That is why I am here, chained in more ways than you can see. A prisoner of art. A prisoner of art. A prisoner of art. Well, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go downstairs. You good? I'm good. <laughs> you good? <laughs> All right, I, I think this is the point at which I put the door on his head. Man, it's it's already kind of late. I don't know if I want to start this and not finish it. And I think it's probably going to take a couple hours. Hmm. How long have I been streaming? By the way, I, I, Alex, I saw you, you put laughing in chat. I'm assuming you enjoyed mallow but <laughs> i just wanted to ask you about it because i was oh so excited to show you specifically okay i've been streaming for four hours <sighs> man if he's smelling salts out of edgar's head he comments on the fact that you were in there and left i see i can't remember very much of what happens while I'm in there. Um, well, I need to go take an antacid regardless, so I think I'm going to put Mallow back up. Fiona needs to go out. Okay. Is this a good game? It is an excellent game. I very much recommend it. One of my favorites. Truly. Very happy to be playing it again. Okay, I'm gonna put up Mallow and I'm gonna see if I can figure out how to fucking uh, get my audio on there. Hold on. <laughs>
Pardon. Hold on. Uh, this is probably shit I should do when I'm offline. Hold up. Okay, that, that seems to be... I don't know if I need... Oh, no, no, no. I don't know if I need... time I've used this, this screen. This is new. Um, I, I'm gonna wait until Alex comes back to relay my anecdote about making this. Because I'm sure he'll think it's very funny and relatable <laughs> to him. So anyway, I was saying, since I can't really speak very well with this thing in my mouth, and also with my the spring allergy hoarseness. I, I think I am just gonna call it. I'll probably do a little more arrowhead hunting, but I don't want to start uh, my favorite part of the game. Uh, well, A, I can barely speak, and B, at 3.30 in the morning. Like, I want to be able to devote uh, my full attention and energy to it. Um, and I'm not really trying to rush through this game, either. I was thinking there might only be two more streams of it, and it looks like there will at least be three. So, uh, that's maybe better, I think. Um... So yeah, let's, let's do a little, little arrowhead hunting, perhaps. A little more of that. The talk a bit more about, a. Uh, Stimulants and maybe a, a, I've already touched on antidepressants a good bit. I'll just talk about those as well. Okay. Yeah, let's let's just go back to camp for the moment. Do a little more arrowhead hunt. Behind you, General. Uh, 
so uh, nicotine, as, as I mentioned, is working on these particular receptors that are indeed named for it, even though the thing that binds to them that you organically create yourself is acetylcholine, as I mentioned. But they're called nicotinic receptors. Also a very uh, commonly used stimulant, uh, by me included currently, <laughs> but, uh, I actually, I'm, I'm about due to taper down to What's the up, final. What's up, Prepare yourself for passage, step. human child. Lowest amount of nicotine that my little, shit a little vape produces for it. Uh, however, it's a, it's a bigger step than the last one was because I'm going from, uh, I, I, like, I can't even buy, like, more than two of these cartridges at a time. They don't even make, uh, like, four packs of these cartridges. And, um, excuse me. They're also more difficult to find. Like, I'm gonna have to uh, keep a a log in my head of which gas stations actually carry this particular strike of this particular thing. Uh, did I arrowhead around here recently? I don't know how quickly they regenerate. Trying to get the magnet now, I guess. Oh, I can do that. I just need to like hover over it instead of be directly over it. Gotcha. Uh, so uh, nicotine is most commonly taken in by people it, through cigarettes or more. Uh, Popularly these days, these little fucking nicotine vapes, which uh, are, are certainly a fucking innovation in exploiting <laughs> addictive substances, for sure. Um, I I've spent more money on little fucking nicotine pods for whatever fucking vape I had at the time than I have most other drugs in my life. Uh, if not all, honestly. And, and I am a dedicated stoner. <laughs> dedicated. And I still think I've spent more money on little fucking nicotine pots. I gotta quit that shit. It's just gonna be a lot more money in my pocket, if nothing else. Am I not, like, right on top of it? I wanted to tell you, with regard to the Mallow screen, I had yet to reinstall my video editing software after I reformatted. Just because, uh, for reasons that I'll keep to myself, it was gonna be a little bit more complicated than reinstalling pretty much all my other programs. Yeah! And the thing that prompted me to reinstall it, uh, other than I'm, I'm trying to eliminate as many barriers as possible between me and making another goddamn YouTube video. That was part of it. <laughs> but I, I had found a video that I really wanted to use for my, uh, like, temporary BRB screen. But... Mallow was not nodding anything resembling to on beat. Uh, he was nodding 
totally offbeat in a way that I found very upsetting. So, in order to remedy this, I uh, took the video uh, into my editing software after reinstalling it for exactly this purpose, as well as, again, with eliminating barriers to making other things. Um, I, I did that and I fucked with the video speed uh, like back and forth until I arrived at something that to me looked like he was nodding on beat. Um, now granted, like, the, the beat, like, you don't hear the beat that he's nodding on really. I think he is nodding along with the bass in there. Uh, when that's present in the song. Uh, I can't tell if he's actually exactly on beat. I guess if I wanted to demonstrate that to myself, I would have to, like... I... Actually, I don't know how I would demonstrate that. I was thinking I could, like, make it run for longer, but... The thing is, it's just a loop, so he would always be nodding on beat within the confines of the song, you get what I mean? And also the song is not a continuous loop, there's like a little gap there. Anyway, I think he looks at least like he's pretty much nodding on beat. It's at least way more tolerable to watch than him nodding totally offbeat. So yeah, that that is the the proximate reason I, I reinstalled Vegas. <laughs> it, it is not the ultimate reason, but it is the proximate reason. Um, is that language that like? non-evolutionary biology people use, or do I need to explain it? I feel like I probably should explain it. You didn't see it off in the loop when he nodded? Okay. Good. Hey, anything new in the store? Take a look. Ah, now here's yeah, it was hard to get it right there. Me. for one reason or another. Like, I was doing it, like, just back and forth. One frame, couple frames, just looking at it. Like, seeing what I would need to do. I feel like that was about as close as I could get it. I'll take it. Alrighty then. Can I use it? I think I just now gained the ability to use it. I don't know. What else can I do you for? Oh no, it's 15. Now, I'm way past 15. Dream fluffs. Now, you take that side. How many of those do I have? Alright, go. Yeah, go find some more arrowheads. <laughs> How many? Uh. I have two cores. We'll get more airheads and I don't have a back. lot of arrowheads left. Your local left. Take a look. Oh. Now, you take that side take core. It. Excellent choice. What else can oh, I do there are only for? ten. Take it. Excellent choice. What else can I do you for? Excellent choice. I have nothing else to spend them on. I'll get more. Excellent choice. What else right. can I do you for? That's it for now. That'll be more than enough for the moment. <laughs> so now, the fucking hell and ammo will stop running away from me. I don't remember if I got this shit when I played this game before. I do still have those streams, I'm pretty sure. I have a fairly complete catalog of damn near every stream I've ever done. There's really like only a few notable gaps and I, I understand why I didn't save those streams. It was mostly just like traumatic shit and shit I didn't want to remember for one reason or another. It's 
from a, a bad period in my life. Oh, shit. Stop being on fire! I hope it- I hope it produces health of some kind. Aw. I just wanted to see it hop towards me happily for once. <laughs> Uh, trying to think if I had any closing thoughts on stimulants in particular before I try to talk about antidepressants for two seconds. I think that's about it, really. Uh, a lot of the best stimulants are not readily available to people. So a lot of folks maybe drink too much caffeine. I would maybe uh, count my husband among these people. He drinks a lot of coffee. Which, uh, in the amounts that he drinks it is probably good for you. Uh, Must coffee is one of those things that uh, if, if you drink a little bit, it's good. And if you drink a lot of it, it's bad. Which I suppose that's kind of anything, technically. Even water. Um, but, um, it's, it's particularly noticeable, I guess, with coffee. <laughs> like the benefits you get from drinking like a couple cups a day versus the detriment you can see when you're just drinking it constantly to the exclusion of other things hmm. namely I'm not water picking up anything must not be any deep arrowheads nearby Um, I, I do think it's probably a good thing that uh, Adderall and similar drugs are um, kept behind a prescription wall. Uh, however, I do think it should be uh, easier for people to be legitimately diagnosed with an attention deficit. Um, there's far too many barriers put up to people to getting diagnosed with that shit. Um, which I, I think a lot of people think the opposite. Uh, that it's overdiagnosed and maybe overtreated with a uh, pretty serious medication that maybe uh, is not warranted by the problem. Um, and I, I can understand that that viewpoint, certainly. Uh, however, I I think it's uh, something that maybe is getting worse, <laughs> uh, given that um, we live in what is unfortunately known as the attention economy, and um, we're kind of spending our attention constantly, and I think that's maybe why we have more of a deficit of it these days. Uh, a lot of the things that you're expected to do, or the um, more available or popular modes of entertainment of the day, are things that uh, do not demand a lot of uh, hmm. focus, I'm not picking up any vigilance, must not be any deep arrowheads nearby, and shit from you. What's over here? Isn't this the parking lot, or was I just there? I don't remember what's in here. Um, like when I was diagnosed with my attention deficit, it was uh, 
Like, I didn't take any formal tests, really. It was, uh, it was like a person who had been speaking to me for some weeks at that point. Um, I think it was the same person that suggested that I was uh, both uh, autistic and had an attention deficit. I can't quite recall. This is a very uh, foggy time of my life for a number of reasons. Um, uh, namely, I was extremely depressed still. This was like immediately after I'd been uh, hospitalized for that reason. Um, and uh, when you're really, really depressed, your memory is not good, especially if you'd been depressed for quite some time, and I, I had by that point. It actually uh, shrinks your hippocampus, which is... I'm not picking up anything. What? Uh, not entirely responsible for uh, forming and otherwise dealing with memories, it's but it's uh, arrowheads. definitely important to that. Critical, even. So, uh, it, depression, serious depression for a long time, especially, uh, shrinks your hippocampus. It actually causes brain damage that fucks with your memory and your ability to do cognition, generally. <laughs> and, uh, uh, yeah. I, I don't remember a lot of things about that point in my life, but I do remember, remember that I was diagnosed with those things at that place. I just don't remember exactly who did, who did what. Uh, with the atten attention deficit in particular, I do remember it, the person who actually diagnosed me was not the person who uh, was uh, qualified to prescribe me anything for that. Um, which that, that, that should be an indication of what you're dealing with. Like, social workers, if they're trained to recognize this, can easily recognize this. Uh, they don't have to go to medical school forever <laughs> to fucking see that shit. And, uh, with the, with the autism thing, that was like... I can't remember who actually formally diagnosed me with that. I, it had been a couple of different folks that I'd spoken to at that point in my life that had told me, like, I, th I think you might be on the spectrum. Um, which, I, I didn't start hearing that from therapists until about this point in my life. Um, I think one that I had uh, in college, maybe a uh, either suggested it himself or um, entertained the notion when I brought it up. I can't quite remember how that went, but um, uh, regardless, I, I was in therapy at the time for anxiety in particular when I first went, so I think maybe they were able to attribute whatever outwardly presenting autistic quirks I have as uh, the behavior of somebody who is just really anxious, in particular uh, like socially anxious, which um, I definitely wouldn't say I am anymore, at least not in that like baseline serious kind of way. I still get like socially nervous uh, to an extent, but it's a uh, Nothing I would describe as debilitating or um hmm. I'm not picking up anything. Oh, I think they people are Must here not be any me, deep there weren't nearby. any. Uh, so anyway. I don't remember why I started talking about that. What? I thought I killed you. <sighs> Set some squirrels on fire. God damn it. <laughs> I think he came back, respawned when I left and came back. Do I have my fire handy? I don't think I do. Okay. Do I have to 
sneak up on the squirrel. How do I... Do I have to be invisible? Seems, like he he went very peacefully. I, I feel like that's maybe not an accurate depiction of what a squirrel would look like were you to immolate it. Um, my opinion as as a former ethologist. <laughs> was a total accident. I'm trying to remember what got me on to talking about, like, fucking, oh, about, like, people getting diagnosed with attention deficits and all of that. Um, it's, it's hard to say. It's not that I don't think people abusing these drugs is a serious problem. It's just... I don't know. <sighs> it's hard to say. It's hard to say. I, there's just... There's a million different things that feed into abuse potential and whether or not something is a good drug or a bad drug, so to speak. I mean, obviously it's not either or. Uh, there's, you know good things and bad things about all drugs, uh, pretty much universally, but it's, it's something that I, I think should be easier to get treated if you want to get it treated, and I think maybe if we made it easier for people to seek treatment for it, there wouldn't be a need for any, like, sketchy doctors that will just totally write you an Adderall prescription if you walk in. It's like, if you could just go to your GP, or, or you know, if it's somebody who's actually, like, trained to recognize this shit, and maybe not all GPs would be. Which, like, actually, Alex, how were you diagnosed with this shit? And who prescribed you your first stimulants? Th that's the other thing, is like, some doctors are just more cautious than others, and a lot of doctors that are technically qualified to prescribe things like this still won't do it just out of their own uh, caution, or their own preferences. Um, like my doctor, for example, I, I would describe her as more careful with regard to prescribing things, which is like earlier when I was saying like I, I think this muscle relaxer is really beneficial for me uh, for ways other than just healing up my back and I think I'm gonna try and talk her into giving me a prescription of that for using sometimes because I'm very physically tense um, uh, she has asked me like every time I, I bring up wanting to, to get another prescription of like the propranolol for example she asks me if I've you know, like, are you, do you need to, to see a therapist about the anxiety? Like, she just wants to make sure that it's, uh, she's aware that I, I'm basically at, like, I've been to therapy for anxiety, um, explicitly just the, the first time I went, but it's been an ongoing thing as I went through therapy, just an issue that I've dealt with, and I've cognitively kind of worked through all of my anxieties and um and dealing with it as well as i can from a mental standpoint um but she's aware that that that's only gonna do so much for me because i was not raised well so <laughs> um you know I, I baked funny and now i look weird so uh, she's uh, aware of that and is you know willing to work with me uh and really it's it's not like uh, muscle relaxers are 
they're not high on the, the list of abuse potential things. Like, the methocarbamol is not a controlled substance. Um, not that I'm aware of, anyway. If it, well, if it was... Hold up. Oh, wait, this is why I opened the laptop. Hold on. Unless it's dead. Okay, no, it's fine. Uh, I don't think most muscle relaxers are controlled substances. Some of them are, I believe. Or at least things that get marketed as muscle relaxers. Um, yeah, it's not, it's not a controlled substance. It's, uh, you, you have to have a prescription to get it, but, uh, it's actually over the counter in Canada. So, if you need a muscle relaxer, and you want a pretty good one that's not gonna make y'all tired, you still shouldn't take it and drive, by the way. Um, pretty much don't take any of the drugs that I described as sedatives, <laughs> and then drive, or operate any heavy machinery, cars included. Oh, the patch is starting to get gummy. That's okay, I'm kind of wrapping up here. <laughs> anyway. So, uh, I'm sort of rambling now. I, oh, I did want to close out talking about antidepressants. I already talked about them a little bit. Um, Depending on what they're fucking with, they, they might have some kind of stimulant effects or some kind of sedative effects, I think I mentioned that. Like Wellbutrin, for example, is much more similar to a stimulant and it produces stimulant effects because it's fucking with norepinephrine and dopamine, which, as I mentioned, pretty much all stimulants to some extent are fucking around with. Um, so... Did I not go into the... Yeah, let's go, let's go over here. Um, but, uh, Zoloft, for example, um, Sertralin, uh, it, it has more of a sedative effect for folks. And, like, common side effects of it include, like, getting drowsy, sleepy, being generally more chill, generally having less energy. Do I have to, like, light the squirrel on fire? Okay. Can I shoot the squirrel? Can I steal the nut? Nut theft! Hey! You've finished half of the scavenger hunt, so you've qualified for the first half of your prize. Go see Ranger Ford for your big promotion. Alright, cool. Do I just need to see him in his hut? Probably. I'm assuming. This is such a waste of time relative to looking for the deep ones, but I can't help but approach the sparkly purple spots. <laughs> Sorry, Alex, I had asked you how you got diagnosed with an attention deficit. Psychiatrist evaluation, okay. But before that, basically half of your teachers had suggested it to your mom. Because, like, they all saw it. Yeah, like, if, you know... I, I can very, very readily recognize this shit in people now, uh, especially now that I've been at the pharmacy for a little bit, because I'm able to actually look at, speak to, and otherwise everybody who's picking up these meds. And uh, I'll, I'll usually pretty much always know if they're picking it up for their kid or if they're picking it up for themselves. Um, not even because that's something I'm able to ascertain from looking at, like, the patient's age, for example. Um... No, I just know there's no air there. 
I mean, there might be sparkly purple ones and also other collectibles, maybe. Yeah, it's just... It's a certain, certain type of person. Uh, people with attention deficits tend to have kind of a Peter Pan syndrome to an extent. Just because when you need things to maintain your attention, they tend to be more sort of forceful and bombastic in the way that kids' entertainment is. So people with attention deficits will tend to like sort of bold fashion and uh, very, I don't know how to describe like, man. I thought this would be easier to do off the top of my head, just like describing the general vibe of a person who obviously has an attention deficit, but I, I think I'm hitting a wall with it. <laughs> and I don't, I don't mean any of this is an insult, by the way. Again, I, I have an attention deficit and I, I happen to think it's pretty noticeable. <laughs> um, I feel like you can tell when I have taken Adderall and when I'm not, at least depending on what I'm being asked to do. Um, yeah, I, I maybe just got to think about that more. <laughs> um, I, I, of, the, the stereotype about people with attention deficits being easily distracted, that's obviously another one. And that's another thing that'll make you seem kind of childlike if you're like literally distracted by shiny objects, um, which indeed I often am. Um, I'm a very just, like, I guess, sensory person generally, which I, I, I don't know how much of that is related to the sensory processing problems from the fucking autism either. I, I, I really don't know how much any of this is one thing versus the other thing, because there's really a lot of overlap between the two, um, with me anyway. Is this gonna be a cutscene? What's going on here? Hey, you wanna help me save the world? I'm just going to save this little part of it right here. With my man over there riding shotgun. Are they like best bros? I don't remember a whole lot of the every character in this game, really. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. What's in here? I feel like I'm about to run into a bear. Oh, okay. Cool. Okay. Yep. Cord. No, no. Hey, cool. Oh, is that, is that the end of the line? I thought there was more shit. Yep. Can I not go back? I think I can. Okay. Is this just how to do it without sliding? Uh, I, I think I, I think I maybe landed on, um, what on earth? Did I have to melt this? It's a sandwich? Turkey sandwich. Oh, is that a fucking scavenger hunt thing? Cool. Oh, that's how I get back, I guess. Alright, I need to go find a crawler. I get it said Ranger Crawler, I guess. Is is that him at the at the cabin? 
I thought that was him being a cook. <laughs> I'm not sure where Ranger Crawler is. I think he might be outside of a one of those one of the huts or something. Let me take a, a log or fucking Why do I keep one to call it's a stump. It's it's like a hollowed out stump. Where would you like me to uh Am I not Yeah that Drop me outside the main lodge. Oh bring me back a burger this time, will you? I think Ranger Crawler is outside a different place, but I'll try. Let's rule this out first. I'm pretty sure this one is just a shopkeep, though. Like, I don't think he's gonna help me with this. I don't think he's got anything else I can buy, really. Hey, anything new in the out. Take a look. Mm, dream no. fluff. Now, you take I got as much of that as I need. Right. Go get more air ahead. I think it's, uh, what is it, the reception area? It's like the same area as the parking lot. To the kids' cabins. This way to the main lodge. No. Oh, damn it. Just made me look at my goddamn map. I think it's up to like my immediate north west, like across that bridge. So I need to like go this away. Can you just not? Watch it. This fucker's gonna kill me. I need to set fire to more squirrels, apparently. That's good for the moment. <laughs> I see any more squirrels. I'll fuck them up. That was a total accident. Okay. So, uh... Basically, I, I think uh, having like a good doctor that will legitimately diagnose and prescribe, uh, diagnose an attention deficit and prescribe appropriate medication for it is uh, often the thing that, that keeps that from happening and having access to that kind of care is uh, money, at least in a place like America, specifically. Um, however, I've definitely heard of people in neighboring nations that do have uh, some form of universal health care, namely uh, Canada, wherein it's still hard to get a diagnosis for this shit. And I reckon... There's uh, perhaps workarounds for that sort of thing for people who can afford to find them, but not for people who are uh, forced to rely uh, solely on uh, what is provided to them by the state in terms of healthcare. Uh, I don't know. It, it's it's sort of like a, like I said. I, I think if you uh, made legitimate diagnoses for this. Uh, easier to get in terms of access, uh, you wouldn't have problems of, like, sketchy doctors um, that get a reputation for uh, 
being very quick to prescribe you some kind of prescription uh, attention deficit medication. Um, but, you know, I don't know that. I just have met a lot of people uh, that could really, 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 really benefit from having their attention deficit medicated, but they don't. And I've also met a lot of people who, at best, have a very minor problem with this issue, and it probably doesn't warrant a controlled substance to treat, but nonetheless, they have some doctor that will willingly prescribe them Adderall or whatever, just because they were able to, you know, find such a, such a doctor. Uh, yeah. I, I think I'm making sense to myself anyway. <laughs> I, I'm saying that it needs to be both more, like, easier to get diagnosed and more difficult to get diagnosed. Like, I don't think that doctor that tried to prescribe me, like, Stratera and Guamphacine at the same time, I don't think he was not on the right track with that. It's just... It's, it's just rookie shit. You don't prescribe more than one drug at the same time. You see how somebody responds to one and then you introduce the other and you compare the effects. Especially since this was very much like a main drug and complement drug situation. Like, the Stratera is supposed to be the, the main thing and the Guamphacine is supposed to be enhancing it. It's not supposed to be... Is it Guamphacine? Hold on. I'm, I'm making sure I... I think Guamphacine might be a fucking... No, 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 that's right. Look at this! It's just the fucking, like, second second sentence of the Wikipedia article. It's a medication used to treat ADHD and high blood pressure. It is not considered a first-line treatment for either indication. <laughs> I, I didn't realize that it was that explicit such that it would be in the second line of the fucking Wikipedia article about this drug. Anyway, I, I don't think that therapist was off base. Or, honestly, he wasn't a therapist, he was a psychiatrist, and they're different. I, I would say psychiatrists kind of... Oddly enough, I would say they specialize in psychiatric drugs, and it's kind of sad that he fucked that up. <laughs> it's like, oh, like, you're fucking... Demeanor with patients is terrible. Like, you don't have a therapist demeanor, and you're, you're bad at prescribing psychiatric meds. That's really... Um, anyway, <laughs> this is like really the one, uh, like mental health care professional person that's ever been like specifically my person that I really, really, really did not get along with. It's, it's really just been this one dude. <laughs> I've dealt with a lot of lovely people, uh, trying to get help with that. I'm trying to find the ranger. This looks like this looks like a nexus that like doesn't actually have anything here. I need to focus on this and then probably nope. Okay, so I need to go up and to the left, I guess. See, I thought this was going to put me in a different area, but no, I just couldn't see. Is he not over here? I don't know if this is Ranger Crawler. Mm. It doesn't look one. like it. Eager to learn, I wonder, or just eager to play? Sir, I am here to learn, sir. You're here to train hard? Mm. Yes, sir. Develop a skill? Yes, sir. To become part of a noble team? Yes, yes. To become? Yes. Janitor. Wait, no, no, no. no. <laughs> I'm here to be a psychonaut. Nah, nah. <laughs> uh, the brainy jump jump goes on upstairs. But down here it's pushing brooms, not spending spoons. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. 
Anyway, I feel like I'm kind of just rambling about stimulants and shit now. Um, did I want to say anything else about antidepressants? I'm still talking about that. Oh shit. Um, again, most things that are marketed as antidepressants prescribed for that reason. They, uh... Where would you like me to take you, Agent Crowler? Have either a stimulant or sedative side effects, depending on what they're fucking with. Usually the ones that fuck with serotonin more tend to make you more, like, drowsy. And the ones that fuck with, uh, norepinephrine and, the uh, dopamine more, uh, tend to be more stimulant-like. Like, Wellbutrin gets prescribed for all sorts of shit. Um, it's, it's more commonly known as an antidepressant, but it's a bupropion is the generic name of it. It gets prescribed for all sorts of shit, including as a attention deficit medication. Um, and it's not, a, it doesn't have much addictive potential at all. Um, if any, really. It's the kind of thing you have to take for a while before it starts to work at full capacity, and, um, yeah, it, like a, like a Zoloft or something like that. And I, I, I'm, I'm trying, I don't know if it helped with my attention deficit, it's hard to say. Um, I guess maybe a little bit, but it's really hard to say, because I, I never have taken Wellbutrin at a time in my life that I wasn't severely depressed. Um, don't I have Let's enough to, to do another I mean, my sanctuary. challenge marker, Yes, noble I psycho master. I'm gonna look up where Ranger Crawler is. Oh, he's in the wilderness area. Where exactly? If you're approaching Sasha's lab from the reception area, you can look across the stream slash river. Huh. I've probably walked by him a million times and just not realized it. Yep. I'll go find him and then call it a day. I did have another one. Cool. Um, I can't remember last time I went on this rant. It's been a while since I did a whole stream about depression. <laughs> Probably about due. Try to do like one a year. <laughs> um, uh, antidepressants are uh, not great at like long term. Where would you like treatment me to take you, Agent Crowler? Of just kind of chronic depression. Um, if you're in, in, like, a really serious bout of it, 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 it can help you out as, like, a, a tool for getting better, but that's kind of the issue, is if you're not willing to engage in a lot of other behavioral changes that are hopefully enabled by the medication, you're not actually going to get better. Um, which is really, it's not really how antidepressants are prescribed, at least in my experience, at least not a, a explicitly enough like that. Wait, so he's in the wilderness area? Bring me near the geodesic psycho-isolation chamber. Roger that, Ranger Crawler. It's calling me Ranger Crawler, but I'm not. But I, I guess that's why he would want to go here. Can I just light this thing on fire? Just like immediately. Or shoot it. Come on, man. Can't target.
target nothing. I hope the controls and the targeting and the everything is just oh so much better in the next game. Described as a smoking cessation aid, which is interesting. Uh, particularly for someone who's otherwise demonstrated a lot of uh, addictive behaviors, and their doctor doesn't want to prescribe them something like an like, like an Adderall for an attention deficit or something, or. or Uh, and obviously, like, if you're prescribing someone something to help treat an addiction, you're not going to want to prescribe them something that is as addictive, if not more addictive, than the thing that they're getting off of. So, uh, usually there is at least some abuse p potential for anything that's specifically made for the purposes of trying to wean somebody off of a stronger drug. Like, uh, methadone, for example. You can still abuse methadone in the same way that you would abuse, like, heroin. It's just not gonna be quite as, as serious. Oh shit, it's like, fucking holding me. Like, I can't even... Whatever, just give me the card, just give me the card, just give me the... Just give me the... <laughs> I can't find this mother. Hey, there, he, there he is. Fuck me, sir. Mr. Crowley, you gotta help. Kids are getting kidnapped, and everyone's missing, and their brains are stolen. And I think the coach is trying to take over the world with psychically armed death tanks. Well, now you see what happens when you go to parts of the forest that are off limits. Won't you help? I'm a ranger. I got enough problems wrangling these leaves. Now get. Hey, check it out. I'm halfway done with the scavenger. Yeah, I was like, why aren't you talking Holy about that? Look at I guess that. I just hadn't spoken well, to Well then, in a while. here's the first half of your reward. Uh oh, Stratera also gets prescribed as an antidepressant. The thing that I mentioned is ADHD med. Um, I, I think it's more often prescribed as an ADHD med, but it does also get prescribed as an antidepressant because it's doing a lot of the same things. Ugh, I'm starting to lose my voice. Oh, I'm about done anyway. <laughs> Thermal detonation? <gasps> Ooh, I get AoE damage with my fire. Let's go blow up another squirrel. Finish that list. Get! <laughs> Didn't they go in here? I think they they regenerated. All right. Uh, maybe something else I could just mention briefly. Oh, I guess I did write something about mood stabilizers here. This is when I was preparing. What? 
Wow. It's a tunnel that opens onto a system of catacombs. Okay. I think I can squeeze through. I I I know. Right? Yeah, why are you I've been in there a million times. What are you suddenly you so like high? <laughs> the fuck? Um, okay, I think I'm, I'm gonna call it a day here, but, uh, it's time to go to the lake. Yes, uh, since sir, I did I'm talk about mood stabilizers earlier, I'm just gonna read this bit, because honestly, it's, they're not too worth talking about from, like, a, here's how drugs work perspective, it's more of, like, a, Here's how far behind we are in treating certain mental health disorders perspective <laughs> so um, it's, it's, I'll, I'll just fuck read this. I don't even remember what I wrote, but I, I trust past me to have <laughs> coughed up something okay. Uh, so I, I say of mood stabilizers here. Uh, these don't tend to act on any particular neurotransmitters, um, at least none consistently more than others. Uh, mood stabilizing, quote unquote, is a very difficult and complicated job, and these drugs are probably uh, the most poorly understood class of psychiatric drug. Um, uh, yeah, I agree with past me's assessment of that. Uh, for example, lithium, which we talked about earlier, it's just like a thing that's miserable to be on is very poor compliance N not that it's really a very easy to get people who are bipolar to comply with their medication regimens anyway um in particular because uh mania uh reportedly feels great and not like something you'd want to medicate yourself out of Especially if it just brings you to this sort of dead, numb middle ground that kind of robs you of, of the emotional roller coaster that makes you feel alive, so to speak. <laughs> like, if you've been depressed, you understand what that sort of gray feeling is. And I, I've heard people who are on, like, heavy uh, mood stabilizers like lithium uh, describe how it leaves you kind of like that and is sure it prevents uh, the depression so much it prevents the mania so much but it also just kind of uh, deadens you generally um I, I really don't envy people who are having to try and treat bipolar it's really hard um it also kind of uh limits you with regard to other uh, disorders you might have that you would want to treat. Um, like, for most of the people that I've known who were bipolar in my life, it would be a terrible fucking idea to give them an Adderall prescription. <laughs> Cause like, it, it, they'd fuck it up one way or another. Like, that shit would like all get taken while they were manic. Uh, they'd maybe hurt themselves. Like it's it's I it's just difficult to treat other things in combination with bipolar because it it causes so many behavioral issues um, and and mood issues that are otherwise not well addressed by other drugs and are often exacerbated by other drugs. Um, anyway, I was in the middle of reading this. Sorry. Go back to quoting past me here. Uh, for example, lithium, one of the more common treatments for bipolar disorder, unfortunately. Uh, we don't really fucking know how it works. <laughs> to, to, like, as a mood stabilizer. Uh, Urchak was saying it was used by a guy who was just using it to fucking stabilize urea, which is actually what he was treating people with, and they just discovered that it worked for this shit. That's, that's a lot of stuff in 
psychology related things in particular, but the science generally. Like, uh, for example, uh, Pavlov, the classical conditioning guy, uh, he was like a gut scientist that was studying salivary production in dogs, I'm pretty sure. And he just happened upon this whole uh, ring a bell, get it to associate it with the food, and then ring a bell and the dog will salivate even when food is not presented because he now associates the bell with the food that closely. That's classical conditioning. He wasn't trying to fucking arrive at that, and now he has a whole type of learning named after him. Like, it's fucking crazy. Pavlovian. Just, just some gut scientist studying dog drool, and now... <laughs> this bonkers, anyway. Did I seriously just get distracted in the middle of the same sentence? Oh, I at least finished it. Yeah, we don't know how it works. Lithium. <laughs> There's evidence that it messes with the serotonin and glutamate receptors, fucks with cell signaling generally. It seems to do a lot of shit. Uh, it also comes uh, along with a slew of awful side effects, which combined with the treatment-resistant nature of bipolar disorder, tend to lead to compliance issues when it's prescribed to people as a mood stabilizer. Uh, it's really hard to talk with this thing in my mouth. As a mood stabilizer. Uh, and as I mentioned, uh, compliance in terms of, like, pharmacology is just how closely a person is following whatever regimen they've been prescribed with a particular drug by their doctor. Um, and yeah, bipolar disorder is notoriously difficult to treat resistant to treatment because um, again it's not always subjectively bad um, mania reportedly is super cool so like it's it's unnaturally good and uh, people often don't want to uh, take anything that uh, diminishes that even if when they are manic they do really reckless dangerous or harmful shit which like I've known a couple few people that, like, would do really, really dumb shit when they were manic. Like, man, Alex, I don't know if you're still here, but, uh, did you ever know Mercedes? She was extremely e extroverted in, in a similar way to Adelu, and I, I think y'all ran in adjacent circles, if not the same ones. Um... Yeah, she... Good lord, man. Like, she would, like, go to Vegas and, like, just hook up with randos in an unsafe manner, do whatever kinds of drugs, and just, like, not even fucking remember any of it, really. She'd have to, like, hear about it from somebody who was with her and like, fuck, man. But she always talked about it like she had a great time, which is really it's disconcerting, but like, that's that's part of the problem of treating it. Um, it's, it's kind of one of the only mental health problems that generates this like, little like, piece of euphoria for a person such that you might not want to treat it, even though it's overall uh, really difficult to deal with. Um, you don't remember her? That's interesting. I don't know, maybe if you saw her, you might recognize her. Because she, she hung out with, the, with Hollis a lot. And uh, I definitely saw her both in the student center and out with the, the smoking folk. I don't know. Uh, and I don't mean to speak ill of her either. I, like, we were really pretty good friends in college. I haven't spoken to her in a while. Um, I believe she moved away. But, uh, it's, it's fucking hard. It's hard to deal with that shit. Uh, my mom is bipolar, so I, I 
definitely seen it up close <laughs> in more ways than just having friends. It's very difficult to, to live with someone who's struggling with like severe bipolar disorder. It's like you, you don't know who you're coming home to. Like it's, it's seriously kind of that bad. Um, it's uh, kind of a unstable environment to exist in when your parent is like that, I'll say that. And they're not even attempting to treat it. Like, the most normal I ever remember my mom being um, when I was a kid was, like, near the end of my time in high school and living with her, and she finally got treated for fucking bipolar disorder. And she wasn't even on any, like, serious, crazy mood stabilizers. I think she was literally just taking Wellbutrin. I, I think that was it. And she was just suddenly very normal and totally not a nightmare to deal with as a parent. And she stopped taking it because she didn't like how it made her feel. She said it, she didn't feel like herself or whatever. And it's like, yourself is making your children miserable. Like, maybe yourself needs to change a little bit. You're a disaster. <laughs> Fuck. Like, I can understand that. It's just like, she, she was just textbook bipolar disorder, man. I mean, she didn't do anything as nuts as my friend that I was just talking about, but like, she would, you know, at fucking four in the morning, be down in the basement painting a mural or some shit. <laughs> just like doing art or whatever. And uh, actually, she was somebody with a fucking prescription stimulant, uh, prescription for fucking ADHD meds that she probably shouldn't have had, because she, she's literally, she just had a speed addiction, like, in like the late 90s, while that was still a thing. Remember when people called it speed? That was... <laughs> that's when she was addicted to it. But then again, that's the other thing. Plenty of people with histories of addiction can just go to a new doctor, feign ignorance about anything, omit whatever, you know, problematic history they have with substances, and just say like, oh, I have been prescribed Adderall in the past for this problem and you should prescribe it to me now. And <laughs> if there's no reason for this doctor to not prescribe it to you, or if they say no, you can just go to a different one and they'll prescribe it to you, maybe. Uh, point being, yeah, that she was a good example of like a person with, with bipolar that should not have had an ADHD medication prescription like that. Um, that's the other thing about, uh, bipolar. It is usually diagnosed after something else, because, think about it, if you, if you have someone who's bipolar, and they don't know they're bipolar, they're way more likely to come see a therapist when they're depressed, and they're more likely to be treated for depression. But, uh, typical, like, antidepressants and things that you might do for depression have a really good chance of, uh, wholesale exacerbating uh, bipolar. So, uh, they get treated for the wrong thing, it, it usually makes something worse for a little while, and eventually, it usually through some series of uh, potentially traumatic things, they discover, <laughs> oh shit, I, I'm not just depressed, um, I actually have this, this more complicated problem, but it's almost never the first thing someone gets diagnosed with. And I think there's a lot of folks who have some manner of it and just aren't treated for it. Even though, as I've mentioned, I think the treatments for bipolar, for the most part, like mood stabilizers, are just barbaric in nature. And I don't blame anybody for not wanting to take these fucking drugs. Um, I'm ranting now. And I'm losing my voice. So I'm, I'm going to shut the fuck up. 
Uh, I'll talk about uh, some of the weirder shit next time I stream. <sighs> Let me fucking save. Get out of here. <laughs> So I'm very well set up to um, do my favorite part next time. And it'll be good. Um, yeah, we're gonna do like a part 2.5 of this stream and uh, just kind of rapid fire through a couple different kinds of different classes of drugs. That I maybe don't need to dwell on so much. It's like we'll touch on like cannabis, for example. Touch a little bit on antipsychotics. A little bit on psychedelics and dissociatives and and pathogens. And then I think I'm gonna close by talking about. Oh, also opiates. I'll throw those in there somewhere. <laughs> We're just gonna like do like a like a paragraphs worth of something about about this shit. Each of them, and uh, I'm gonna close by talking about um, a PTSD treatment because it. Uh, Depending on what you're dealing with, it necessitates pulling from all of these classes of drugs. So I just want to talk about it as like a sort of synthesis point and a, a good summary topic, basically, to tie all this shit together. And that's the plan for next time. Um... I still, I think we got at least two more streams of this, for sure. Um, I don't think I, I'm gonna, like, I don't have much need to look for arrowheads or doing, like, there's not a lot of side shit in this game, really. It's pretty linear. Um, which I, I don't use that word as an insult to a game, by the way. <laughs> I think a lot of people use that word with, a certain amount of disdain in their voice, and I, I am not one of those people. Um, it, it, I'm a fan of interactive narrative games. Those are uh, often very linear, like painfully so to some people, but if you're telling me a good story, I don't mind you holding my hand through it. That's fine. <laughs> it, you know, if it's well done, I'm not going to complain about it. Okay. Play a song here. And fuck off for the evening. Or morning or whatever. <laughs> I managed to play for like almost another two hours after I was like, oh, better stop. Just got ranting. I mean, I covered a lot of shit on the, the drugs front. Um, the little rapid fire I talked about is going to be a, quite a gamut to run, but a lot of these things are stuff I've talked about a little bit before, and it should just be kind of reiterating things that I've already said. Because um, these are indeed some of my favorite things. Like psychedelics and dissociatives and pathogens in particular. I do love those things. Uh, anyway, I shall fuck off. I got a pretty song here. Uh, I, I, I couldn't really pin a genre on this either. It's kind of post-rock-esque in its build and structure, I would say, but it's definitely an electronic song, I guess. I don't know. I gotta pee. <laughs> I'm losing my voice. So... Just go play some fucking music. And fuck off. I'll be back uh, next week. I don't even know when I'll work next week. 
I have a weekend off, which is cool. Um, did he fix my clock or something? Uh. Oh. Okay, that, yeah, that schedule's not final. Wait, is this this week? No, that was last week. I, he's probably still working on it. I, I should not fret. I had to switch shifts with a, a co-worker of mine because I had made a doctor's appointment and I wasn't expecting to work a morning shift because I normally don't work that early, but I didn't know my boss was going out of town, yada yada. Anyway. That's, I, don't, I don't know. It looks like I could stream pretty much whenever next week if I really want to, so... I'm gonna shut up and play my music and go away. <laughs> I probably won't stream again until my fucking mouth feels better. I'm not about to try and provoke any goddamn canker sores. Alright. As I feel like I'm I'm forgetting something, that's why I'm like stalling, but I genuinely I can't fucking remember if, it, if it's that important i'll they'll try and say it next time <laughs> good night